Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How do how do Hi. we sound? How do we sound? <laughs> Want to make Hello? sure. Want to make sure Hello? teeny. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure that teeny tanuki is uh coming out well on the other end. Uh, can can anybody hear my screams? Sound is okay. You sound great. Good to know. I always do uh, audio tests, but it's good to know. Good to check with the people actually hearing it live. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome to another Toast Talks. Um, thank you very much again for enjoying my little series where I uh, somehow convince a cool person to come sit next to me and then we yap for like hours. <laughs> Woohoo! Yippee! Hi everyone! Yippee! Hello, hello! Um, also, it's in that congrats on redeeming first today. Also, a little belated thank you to Kazu for surprising me earlier. Um, 12 full months, how crazy is that? How crazy is that mint me one what? shot? What? Dude, that's such a crazy number to me. Congrats on a whole year, Tsuna! I really appreciate you guys, and I hope that you guys will really enjoy the Toast Talks today, because I've been looking forward to it. Um, oh man. As always, our question form is pinned. It's also in my my live tweet, all that good stuff, uh, in the Discord. But Teeny, <laughs> I want you to take it away. I want all the flower friends. I want everyone to know who you are, what you're about. Okay. Um. Hi. My name is Teeny. I'm a Tanuki. I go by any pronouns. Um. And I run a little manga cafe. Um. I'm a full time streamer. I stream on Twitch four to five days a week um, and uh, I play variety games and gotcha games and um, JRPGs things like that like Persona mm. I see you stream I a lot of Persona <laughs> I li well it's also just like even if you don't love Persona the games are so beefy there's so many hours of content that uh... it's just like when you're playing Persona, it's like you're committing to it for months at a time. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I know that the newer game, there's uh, Persona 3 Reload was like mm -hmm, a big deal. Mm -hmm. Saw that being, yeah. being the talk I'm of the a, town. <laughs> yes. I Yeah, so Reload is like the whole new remake of the game, but with, with an entirely like new UI and like bonus <gasps> oh. content and a whole bunch of other things. Um, and I'm starting that this weekend. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow. Yeah. Ah, I see, I see. See, I have not, I have not started uh, the Persona. <laughs> mm. That, that it's whole a commitment. world. It's a, it's a big commitment because I mean, I think I ended when I ended Persona Five. It literally took me a year to play, like a year of <gasps> real, real time. It took me a whole year to play. Granted, oh there gosh. were some weeks where like I only played once a week. But it did take me like a literal year. So when Holy. I had finished the game, I was like, this game has permanently altered my brain chemistry. <laughs> because, because I had just spent so much time in the game and with the characters. Um, but I ended the stream. I think I was sitting at like 200 hours in Persona or like 100 and, oh my gosh. 198 or something. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is that is one long game. I feel like yeah, I don't check how many hours I spend in games very much, but I know that I have a crazy number in, in Animal Crossing because I was playing yes. Animal Crossing during <laughs> you know lockdowns when everything was sort of frozen yeah. for a while. Um, but it wasn't only me playing because <laughs> it wasn't only me playing on my Switch at the time. Um, That's fair. Because I, I up... totally understand. Yeah, I ended up sort of just like hanging out with my family a bit. And so mm. my dad ended up fishing in Animal Crossing a lot. So, so many museum contributions so are his. <laughs> and so then cute. my sister did a lot. So, yeah, it, my Switch became like the family Switch for a bit. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I have like 1,200 hours in Animal Crossing as, oh a, as just me. So I oh, can't even wow. imagine if I had like shared it with dandy it would have been <laughs> so many hours <laughs> oh my gosh i mean i think i'm gonna have to i want to sort of go back and and revisit i want to revisit 
um yeah. animal crossing although i think i yeah. want i would need to like re restart my whole island which i sadly we can't you. have separate I'll saves <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> tina you're trying to you're just convincing me more you're Return pulling me back animal cross <laughs> ah, the animals will cross it's it's really <laughs> tempting because it's cute i kind of want to experience it for the first time again but then mm. it'll just be an island on my own instead of like a shared island with two other people I so literally I bought another Switch because I'm like getting so close to the end of my island and I was like, I want to start a new one, but I can't like bring myself to remove my island. So I literally bought a whole ass other Switch. What? I was like, <laughs> yeah, well, it that... was also one of the limited edition Switches that oh, okay, okay. It, was the, it was the um, Tears of the Kingdom Switch. Okay. And it was beautiful. And it, it was an beautiful. OLED. So I was like, I was like, what if I just bought this and then I, and then, yeah. So you're like, okay, so what if I just had a whole second switch for my, yeah. <laughs> so I, I can have two Animal Crossing island saves. I feel like it's cruel that you can't have multiple island saves on one device. It's honestly a personal attack. I have like, I have technically I have three because I have a switch light and then I have the Animal Crossing limited edition and then I have the Tears of the Kingdom limited edition. Okay, slay them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like I got the light before the Animal Crossing one was announced because I just wanted to be able to like play Switch games on the bus when I was working. Oh, yeah. Um, and then they announced the Animal Crossing one and I was like, ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, but the Animal Crossing one is literally teeny colors. You can't not. It's, it really is. It's literally I like, was concerned ah. <laughs> that I wasn't going to like it. But then they when they announced it, I was like, oh, well. There, there goes go. all of my money. <laughs> there goes my money because I mean I I saw it and I had already gotten a switch and I think mm. it works out for me because my switch is just one solid color. <laughs> I just got the gray yeah. one, the gray one, okay. and I currently have a case on it actually. Mm. Um, I didn't get to photograph it very well, but yeah, I have the all gray one, so I think. I wanted to do that and then um, put skins on it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, yeah that's going to be, understand. you know, that's going to be my customizable uh, experience. And, yeah, my like, yeah. my excuse, not excuse, justification for purchasing so many was like, well, one is a light and then one is, and then one is, you know, the normal size and then the other one is the OLED. So te technically they're all different. <laughs> <laughs> that that's true. They're not only different looks, they're different models. Um yeah. Oh my gosh, Tsunana. Me too. I really like white electronics. Like my PC, mm. when I built mm. my PC because my old one was getting a little bit funky with all the streaming stuff. Um, it was also a bit old, but uh yeah, when I finally got a new PC and I built it, like most of my parts are white, but there's a slight um Slight premium to having the white electronics, which makes mm. me salty because I'm like, why? Why is there a tax on cute things? I know, it's like also I there's know. like pink stuff too. Every time they release anything in pink, I'm yes. like, why? Why must you? Why must you gatekeep like this? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I find that there's never, well, not never. That's not the right term, but like very seldom do you see the things that they release in pink in like blue or like another cute color that isn't pink yeah, i wish that's true that they would <laughs> give me like something or like yellow or like you know what i mean like just i don't know something that's i'm not particularly a pink girly so i just like wish there was a cute color that wasn't pink <laughs> yeah <laughs> no i think i think that like i mean if you think about it Cinnamon is the most popular Sanrio character. I swear I'm mm -hmm. going somewhere with this. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have a lot of Sanrio faves. It's not Cinnamon. I loved Cinnamon through my childhood, but he's not my number one. But but you look at that, and then you look at all the light blue. You know that aesthetic that's like light blue and white. The I'm light blue and the that. white. The light blue and the white. It goes hard. It's like a really big thing lately. It's kind of. Um, I feel like it's very. I don't know, like 2010s internet aesthetic i don't know how to explain it yeah it's just like it's, that really no, like like cyber core but in a cute way yeah. like yeah like I cute agree. cyber yeah, yeah. core that's 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 a good yeah. that's a good way of putting it yeah <laughs> ah, I hi, yeah, oh i see gosh. it all over 
Hi, Juju. Hi. Yeah. I see it all over my TikTok, the like blue and white aesthetic because I follow a lot of just like lifestyle uh... TikTokers. So I see all the cute PC setups and they have like, you know, the cinema roll stuff, but then they also have like cute little jellyfish things and like i don't know it's just it's a very good vibe true and i agree with chat we need more green stuff a lot of them are saying yes. like we need like cute green stuff yes. I, right yes. we want pistachio green we want like nice matcha, matcha oh. themed literally anything <gasps> that's true it's such a nice mm. color green is really mm. easy on the eyes i will say though that like it probably makes sense for certain tech to be like oh we can't offer that many colors <laughs> without it being a pink, problem you can offer it in other colors that's, oh, that's, that's true. my humble onion <laughs> i mean some of them don't even offer it in pink but, is <laughs> yeah <laughs> what i'm thinking true. but yeah. i did see once i think was it in uh was it a mic i saw a mic and like the whole thing was somehow pink i was like how'd you make that and not make a white mic <laughs> yeah this is true <laughs> they just had black and then they had like an ultra yeah. limited edition like you can only buy it for this time and we only have this many like pink mic and i was like what <laughs> i feel like I we recently... should <laughs> there was uh this mic no mic and mouse set that was like uh evangelion themed so it was black but it had like purple and green accents on oh, it cute. and it was so nice but everything i own is also white i'm also a white tech person so i was like i'm not gonna get this because it's <sighs> gonna stick out like a sore thumb but also this is so cute and if i had known that this was an option Maybe I, maybe I would have done with the other black stuff. I don't know. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. It's tough because I think I struggle with this too. I can't commit to one sort of aesthetic. I think eventually yeah. I definitely want to overhaul things and and make things look cute. But that time is not now. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to like commit to like a specific vibe. Yeah. Also because... So I really I'm very normal about um, my melody, a specific Sanrio character, but she's very pink. She's very pink. Yes. But to be entirely honest, like I love pink, but not everything being pink. So it's just yeah. her that is pink. I have so much of her. And then it like clashes yeah. with all my like kind of cozier, like yeah. neutral aesthetic. And it's just like you have like pink. <laughs> yeah. But like I'll, I'm I'll do it for her. To, like... I'm trying to... What did I say the other day? I was like, people are multi-dimensional beings who huh. like more than one thing. Oh, yes. So, like, <laughs> I think it's totally fine to have, like... If we're talking about just in terms of, like, physical aesthetics around the house, like, you can have a corner that's pink and you can have a corner that's, like, neutrals. And I don't know. It's fine. It's fine to have both. And I right. think that overall, they go together more than you think that they would. But if you are someone who's, like very specifically aesthetic motivated it's hard it's hard to look at because you're like this is so different than this one and i'm stressed out so i understand i think my <laughs> it makes my brain like hurt actually <laughs> it's yeah. it's bad because i do like a lot of different things but when things don't match each other it bothers me yeah, yeah. i think i've said this yeah. exact phrase like on stream before but i just thought of it the other day and it just works for so many things about me for some reason where i say it tickles my brain in the bad way yeah <laughs> it tickles my brain in the fair. bad way and so yeah. i mean i don't know what i'll do eventually um about all my things because i just love owning stuff which is problem it's stuffism problem. stuffism Hoarding, I'm such a fan. <laughs> hoarding runs in the family, actually. Yeah. I swear. Like, I think about, like, my childhood home I grew up in. I think about how back at my parents' house, we still have a lamp that is, like, broken, like, ten times over. And they mm. keep barely fixing it. So there's, like, yeah. one light bulb that's attached precariously on this standing yes. lamp. Which, by the way, all of like, it's like a metal, it's got like a metal thing. It's it's old. It is old. Mm. And there's parts of it that are like just chipped off and like sharp edges. And I'm like, you need to throw this out. <laughs> and then my dad will be like, this it still fair. works. And I'm like, you, you have, I, you, you have to throw this out. This thing is older than me by like a lot. 
it's actually kind of funny that we're having this conversation because after this stream i'll <gasps> be streaming over on my channel as oh, well yeah. um and we're doing like a show and tell stream so i asked my community to take pictures of their collections oh. and their treasures and things that they wanted to show me i love um, that and then i'm gonna be going through it on stream but like i don't know i love it when people have stuff that they love I just show me all of it. Me too. <laughs> I want to see it. I would send you my collection, but I don't. I don't mm. think. I don't think I. I don't think I should. <laughs> mm. Maybe uh, next time. I'm sure I'm gonna do it again day. because I think. I think. I don't know. Collections grow over time, right? Mm. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Also, Callan says teeny town the key is gorgeous. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> did you know? Did you know that Teeny is getting a new model? Oh! <gasps> did you know? Did you know about Spring Teeny? Did you know about Spring Teeny? I'm very normal about Spring Teeny. Um, redebut on April nineteenth. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. Redebut on April nineteenth. Um, yeah. So I'll be semi-retiring this model. I'm sure I'll bring it out um, on occasion um, because I still very much like this model, and my model mama did such a good job, and I love Ron's art. Um, but I wanted to, I wanted to make something that felt a little bit more like me. So. Absolutely. No, mm -hmm. I'm happy for you. Where I, I need the link to the the Twitter trailer. I'm currently like looking for it. <laughs> it should be pinned on my on my Twitter. Oh, on your Twitter. Okay, okay. It's literally the pin tweet. Is that why I couldn't find it? I went, I jumped straight to your media tab and then started <laughs> scrolling for miles. Yeah. Spring teeny, look at look at how pretty they will be. It's it's ah uh, ah. You're already super pretty. I've always loved your design. I think you also Thank share you. a sentiment that I really enjoy. Um, that you enjoy like stuff that's simple but like memorable when it comes to your vtuber yeah. design because i think yeah. like you know if you even look at your outfit which you know ahem, my total casual segue into showing off your model because <laughs> <laughs> i want people to be able to view your full outfit but i've drawn you before and i remember noting to self i also just realized we both have booba windows that's awesome that's yeah. wonderful well that was like when you, when you debuted this outfit i was like not to be over dramatic, but because I just like was obsessed with your. <laughs> I was like, this is so teeny core, but in the mint my way. That's so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> but yes. Starts barking aggressively. Oh oh my god! Uh -huh. I uh wow. Had the highest of compliments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pretend that Teeny's debut. Oh my god, thighs! Sorry, I'm really normal. I'm really normal about friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Teeny has just ah, gorge gorgeous, G gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. Anyhow, we, I like pretending that you're debuting. <laughs> yeah, this is. Hi guys, welcome to my debut. My name's Teeny Tanuki. Your bakery debut. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love your shoes. The little wooden platforms is so smart for your aesthetic. Thank you. A little lace. Yeah, oh my, my shoes actually, I had like the biggest problem with trying to um, design them because I was stuck between wanting something really like girly and wanting like combat boots. <laughs> That's true. So, I think either would look great though. When I first designed Teeny, they were just like really basic black, like Mary Jane, um, like Doc Martin looking shoes, um, which I did like, but I wanted them to be more interesting. So when I finally got the, because when I first debuted with my model, I had, um, I just had like a bust up model. So I had no legs. Uh, I remember <laughs> so no that. Legs. I remember when you debuted your legs. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I remember gazing upon teeny thigh for the first time. It was a good day. <laughs> Feet stream be like. I love your fluffy tail. It looks so soft. The new tail goes crazy. I'm so excited to show everybody because the person who uh, did my new model's brig, um, she did such a good job. It's like she's very um, well versed in animations in live 2d mm. and so she is really good at doing like uh 
long animations that are like seamless loop so oh, I mean, i'm excited to okay i can't i can't wait to show people. i'm gonna be such a nerd i'm gonna be such a nerd about all the models i love vtuber <laughs> models like i love vtubers Me too. first you know <laughs> i yeah. love vtubers so entertaining but like the creative and the model side is what really brought me yeah. here and as someone who you know wants to wants to make more models, wants to potentially learn rigging as well and things like that, I'm such a nerd. Oh my god, that, <laughs> da. <laughs> dude, Teeny's got such beautiful thighs. I love that they. It looks like they like can go in front of one another, right? Yeah, yeah. My um, That's got my it. original model mama and um rig uh mama were both like i handed them my design and they were like gripping hand emoji thighs and i was like <laughs> yeah i think that was the part that they put like the most love in. <laughs> <laughs> no way <laughs> gorgeous cardigan as well look at that ombre guys look at that ombre there's button details too and you have a little mm. purse as well i have a little purse wait i can take off my sweater hold on nope oh <laughs> i don't know my toggles i don't know oh, my me toggles. too oh i see the hair go. changing though oh my gosh your oh your 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 bag has the little tail you guys see that yeah little bag Tricky tail bag spotted it's cute it's really cute the tail zipper i love how your hair is drawn i think about it all the time <laughs> Thank. You have you have really it's, satisfying braids. When I first um got the oh, oh. <laughs> don't look at it. When, <laughs> when I first got the design, um bald moment. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> when I first got the the um uh, design back from Ron I it was initially like this tiny little like top knot um but then just like as she drew it over time I don't even know some people are like is your hair half up half down is it a big ponytail I'm like I wish I could tell you I don't know <laughs> it depends on the artist <laughs> Oh. I don't think anyone really knows I think I, I thought of it as a very very voluminous ponytail Mm-hmm. Or at least that's what it most looks like. Think that. Yeah. <laughs> I think when I had first designed it, I wanted it to be like a half up, half down situation, but it just kind of evolved over time every time somebody drew it. Same with Teeny's boobs. They just got bigger every time somebody else <laughs> drew the art. It was so funny because like when I first got my first concept art, the boobs were really small and now <laughs> the, the beach the, the... <laughs> No no words, just the VTuberification. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. That's just how it goes among artists. Well, yeah, you know, we we all we all choose. There there is small boob appreciation as well. It just it's just yes. preference. So new new teenies boobs will be nerfed. Sorry, go men. Don't sorry. be sorry. However, however, we have beauty mark on boob and on thigh and one on ass so i wow do it that way you will <laughs> i didn't know that all right <laughs> so on today's toast talks i learned where my guests birthmarks were mm, including mm, the hidden mm, ones mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. very important to know oh man i guess my model does not canonically have any any birthmarks but i do mm. i do i have like small moles here and there Mm. Think like my arm. I made it like back. a big deal <laughs> that my model needed to have freckles. Oh and, yeah, like, beauty marks and things. I don't know. That's very important to me. I don't know why. I think they're beautiful. <laughs> I think it's important. Yeah. No, I think they're really pretty. Whenever I see um, designs or VTubers that have like their their moles or mm. any sort. of of something like that it's just it just is so mm -hmm. nice it's so nice i love it <laughs> i i used to have not minmai but like me the the i guess the flesh mech version of me um mm. used to have freckles when i was little but then they faded mm. when i got older and i was kind of sad about that 
Yeah. I like feel so cheated because everyone in my family this is probably why it's so important to me to have freckles on my model is because oh, I see. everyone in my family has freckles and I don't. Oh. So this is my this is my Roman Empire. <laughs> That's like a cruel that is like a cruel joke from the universe on you. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like we're we're gonna we're gonna make sure that you love this really cute trait and everyone in your family will have it for I you. Know. It's so tragic. Mint my one cheer, mint my one love. Oh, thank you, Squishy. Thank you, thank you. We've got a special guest on stream today. I hope you enjoy, but I really appreciate the two months. Ah. But I will say, like, I've seen how you do your makeup before, Teeny, and it's always really pretty, but I do notice that you, like, freckles suit you really well. I actually thought you totally had natural freckles. I know. <laughs> They should, they should be mine. They, they, they are yours, though. They, they are natural. It is what it is. If you it believe just it. It pre presents me with a makeup challenge. That's all. <laughs> Have you ever tried using, like, those eyebrow stains? Like, the ones that last yeah. a little bit longer as the freckle? I've oh. tried, I've tried, like, literally oh. any sort of fake freckle, like, makeup that has existed. I tried using henna i tried using the eyebrow stain i tried using like self tanner oh you can also gosh. like make like a like because the tanner will last like up to two weeks or whatever i've tried so many different things and like they all look okay but i don't know if they look as good as just plopping a freckle filter on your <laughs> on your photos you oh know no. what i mean yeah i see i see wow i think i've only there's there was a time where I, I tried freckle makeup to see how I'd look with it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Although I don't actually do makeup very much, so this is fair. I want to learn though. Yeah. <laughs> I want to learn That's because fair. the times that I have done uh, makeup, I it, it makes me really happy. <laughs> it's really mm. fun to do it's like drawing mm. on my face and um, yeah, yeah, and like but I'm still sort of figuring out what stuff I like. Also because I don't know if we've like had a phase of rejecting uh, femininity in your life but like I certainly have had this really big arc yeah where for a while I um I don't know why exactly it turned out this way but I didn't want to admit to myself that I liked really cute things or that mm. I might you know just be a kind of very um in quotations a very girly person not that there's a strict mm. definition of that so i pushed all that stuff away for a long time and then slowly i, I think probably mm, yeah <laughs> just after a lot of yeah. time after a lot of time i was like ah isn't it tiring to to pretend to like not like things that you do like yes that's <laughs> isn't true. it so tiring way, to try to be cool i feel that way about music i think uh, when i was in when i was in high school mm. i was so like i don't like pop music like pop music is just it's boring and it's and it's mainstream and i only like folk music or like i don't know i like arctic monkeys and like i don't know i was very like edgy about my music taste and then at some point i was just like life is too short to pretend that i don't like things <laughs> right? literally it doesn't matter what, like, what is it listen to whatever i want to listen to <laughs> literally so. what is it in our brains that do yeah. that to us i don't know because the hipster curse you need to be different <laughs> that is a funny that is a funny term for it i actually mm. remember when that was a big thing or like i haven't heard that i haven't heard the word like hipster in years yeah. but for yeah. a short period of time that was everything that everyone seemingly wanted to be and like fedoras were a thing yeah. I, I had a fedora don't tell anyone though it's embarrassing <laughs> i looked real bad in it too um <laughs> oh my gosh i was like super deep in tumblr when tumblr was like um oh. the big platform so I definitely was like deep in the quote unquote like hipster Tumblr girl culture. <laughs> the the I'm an enigma, I'm not like other girls, I'm uh... the original pick me type Tumblr, so <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. I mean I, I never know how to feel about I guess pick me as like a concept either though. It's so silly. I feel like it's I think it's funny. I don't know, cause I'm. It's. I feel like it's like I don't. I don't, I don't want to put girls in boxes anymore. You know. Yeah. That's something that we well, like. I don't know. That's something that yeah. anyone that's like can be feminine presenting just like 
experiences their whole entire life literally like all of my this friends is, uh. this is why i think it's like silly though so okay so um i'm a full-time university student and mm. i'm taking design ah. um and right now i'm doing this project I have a typography class and I'm doing this project where I have to redesign a cover of a book that I like. So I chose oh. Twilight um, <laughs> yes. because I was like, this will be That's a fun, fun like opportunity. And also I know the book inside and out because I've done it like I've done projects on Twilight before. I love Twilight. <laughs> I was a big Twi hard when I was a small, small baby Tanuki. Oh so, my gosh. Um, so I was like going through and I was analyzing the characters. And, you know, you have to pull things from the book to try to make it, like, you know, relate to the cover. Like, the mm. best covers for books are done by people who have read the literature inside and out. And Absolutely. All about it, right? And so I was kind of like, I really struggled with this, actually, because Bella is supposed to be so self-insert. Like, she's not <laughs> really supposed to have much of a personality at all ah. because she's supposed to be self-insert. And one of the only things that you know about her aside from the fact that you know she likes edward <laughs> is that there's like one point where charlie is like you like purple right and she's like purple's cool and like that's all she says and i don't know i was talking about it with my classmates and i was like bella is the original pick me in like the best way because she just like has no personality but it's like supposed to be like a fan fiction like it's a your name here like <laughs> it's like a super super successful yeah. fan fiction yeah basically anyway it was just really funny because i was like i think that the term pick me like as as a whole should be looked at as kind of like a silly little joke like a meme like yeah we, yeah like we we're all that at one point or another i don't know <laughs> it's so funny i feel like i don't know everyone <laughs> in in the process of figuring out who you are i feel like um you just you go through a process of trying to be different or wanting to be different in quotes mm -hmm. i mean obviously everyone's different from each other but you kind of go out of your way to try doing that i would argue most people at least want to feel different at some point in time but then mm -hmm. eventually you're just like okay well i can be an individual without needing yeah. to like needing to like pretend to be yes. special in certain aspects you know what yeah. i mean yeah yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna have it's, like no one is a carbon copy of another no, personalities it's also are different just like um it's a it's a thing that's like more common around people who are surrounded by a very large amount of peers and they feel that's like they true. need to stand out from that group so it's so common in high school so common in college if you're like living in dorms and you're around lots of people all the time like of course that's gonna be the vibe but i think once you get out into the real world and your mm -hmm. circles shrink substantially oh, yeah. you're like oh i don't care anymore <laughs> that definitely that like so. when i went through that transition of like just really you know i have very small social circles i talked about it before because i'm an introvert and mm. <laughs> there are people that i've met that like really really clicked with me and i treasure them like i mean mm. i mean yeah my my close friends mean the world to me but also it's like you just stop thinking you just stop thinking about yeah. what other people think of you because yeah. you know that everyone you truly care about that everyone you truly care about that also cares about you would never would never mind like just be a decent Literally. person and life yeah. is pretty chill <laughs> yeah I life agree. is chill <laughs> but yeah i do yeah. recall like you know probably back in the high school days like just feeling really lost about who i was but you're not supposed to know mm. at that point in time no playing around with identity is a big thing it's I don't just part think of growing you're ever supposed to know i think mm, that's true I think you continue to grow as a person and your personality changes and your likes change depending on the things that you grow go through, the things that you experience and what makes you grow as a person. And sometimes, I don't know, I don't want to like, I don't want to get into like heavy topics. Oh, but no like, worries. I know what you're talking my, about though. I went through like some pretty like mm. heavy life stuff when I was in high school. Mm. And I think I'm entirely a, a different person now because of it. My likes changed entirely. Everything that I enjoyed taking in, like all the media that I liked, all of the oh. all of the things that I liked looking at, all of my hobbies, like literally all of it did a complete 180. And I think that that is going to continue to happen anytime <laughs> something major 
happens i don't think you're meant to be the same person throughout your whole life like yeah at all. <laughs> like you're just you but like what's what does that mean right <laughs> yeah just chilling it means whatever you want it to mean wow. it doesn't matter <laughs> oh my gosh you're so deep teeny <laughs> thanks Thanks. Wow, really wow. Cool. Tumblr, Tumblr 2012, <laughs> like cursive words on like a f heavily filtered photograph. Mm. Yes. Be you. <laughs> yes. So true. Be you. Be tuber 2024. So I was making, um, uh, I've been playing Minecraft a little bit recently. <gasps> yeah. And I was making a house. And I put this little sign in it that I was like, oh, my house isn't complete without like a stupid sign. And so I put like a bless this mess sign on the <laughs> wall. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Teeny Tanuki. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Do you play Minecraft with mods, by the way? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I want to play uh, more Minecraft. I've been on a break because I'm super lost in my solo world. Like so very Ooh. lost off the grid lost. Don't know where my house is yeah. lost. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I've been procrastinating, uh, swimming back, mm. but mm. I think Minecraft is definitely one of my favorite games. I have um, I have a sub only Minecraft server. If you <gasps> ever wanted to like Whoa. come onto the server with me and we can build something together, that would be fun. I would love to. I would mm. absolutely love to. Actually, mm -hmm. I want to make a Minecraft server like that for my community someday too. Because I was originally just gonna do builds in my solo world. Mm. Also, hi, BB. I love you, <laughs> but um, I, I wanted to do a solo build of like a bakery in my house. And I'm like, what if I made this in a server instead where people could come and yeah. like, walk around and stand in it? That sounds like that's it'll cute. be such a better experience. So that's also yeah. why I've been putting off some Minecraft. I'm gonna give myself it's adequate time to just play other things I wanna play, do stuff like yes. that. Yeah. Yeah. I really like, I like Stardew Valley a lot. <gasps> But yeah. my issue with Stardew Valley co-op is that sometimes when I want to like build and I want to decorate and things like that, like when you're playing co-op, the time continues to advance and you can't <laughs> pause it. Um, so that's what I like about Minecraft when you're like, you have the ability to play with other people, but you don't have to worry about like, like time specific things usually yeah, or at least not no... as much because like hmm. some people can be survival and some people can be creative and it doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's true. Because I was going to say, yeah. I love Stardew Valley Co-op. I mean, I've been playing. I've been playing it a lot lately. Mm. Um, but I think the, the time does run. I personally don't yeah. mind that. But I do think it's nice that in Minecraft that there's no um, there's no min-maxing, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, you yes. can min, you can min-max Minecraft. But at that point, you're like really making it a choice to min-max as opposed to yeah. having a timer run and it's like you can only do so much in one day, you have a stamina yes. bar, like you feel like... It's like the <laughs> basis of what Stardew is like built off of is yeah. that like, you have a, like a, a finite amount of time. Like a life sim where if you don't yes. spend all your energy in a day and you spend the whole day laying in bed, you're like, oh gosh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, I haven't progressed in my farm this one day. <laughs> ah. You ever have days IRL like that though? Because I, I do. Yes. I certainly do. We all do. Literally all the time. Oh boy. <laughs> all the time. Dun dun dun. All the time. I, I do actually have some questions for us though from the community as well. Let's I'll slowly, go. I'll slowly be bringing them in throughout um sure <laughs> kyle's up first kyle asking cheesy questions what do you admire or adore about each other oh oh, oh my i'm in love with mitmai <gasps> hello my name is teeny tanuki and i'm in love with mitmai <laughs> here's welcome to my ted talk here's 10 pointers as to why i love mitmai <laughs> um stop you i love your design so much like what we said earlier about simple but memorable design like just your entire aesthetic as a whole that you present across your social media across stream across like literally everywhere where you are present it's so consistent and pleasing to look at and as someone who loves like looking at aesthetic things just for funsies when i found you i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think you're a very talented artist. 
I love all of the work that you put out. The Apple Girl that you put out the other day. Hope, 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 hope. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you for liking my daughter. She's just an OC. I'm going to make her a, a sample model just for portfolio. Oh. I think some people might say this. it's a waste, but like, I just want to make it. <laughs> I, love I want to this. use her to learn no, rigging too. I think too. you should follow whatever your like creative passions take you to. <laughs> um, and I think that um, your streams are very lovely to be in, and I think that you are a very talented creator. I literally sent you this like a while ago. I remember Teeny! you being like, "Thank you. This means so much to me." You did tell <laughs> me. You did you, tell me yeah. that my aesthetic was like. You said some of this to me definitely through like Twitter DMs mm -hmm. at one point, and I was reading it. And I was like, "Oh, steam was coming <laughs> out of my ears." I was like, "No way." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I you guys are too kind. You guys are too kind. I like I like it when people um like have a creative vision for their streams and I think you can really tell when people when people have one and they are like excited about it. You know what uh... I mean? <laughs> I really, I'm really, really happy that that does come across. Uh, G, thank you for the follow. I am Mint Mai. I am currently joined by Teeny Tanuki. Be sure to give them a follow as well. We're currently having a little talk show. We're just hanging out, <laughs> getting to know each other, and answering some questions. But, um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Teeny. It does mean a lot to me, though, because I will say one of the things that I loved about VTubing was that I could... You know, we, we literally just talked about having different interests, like a lot of different things, but then you have them in the same mm. space. <laughs> mm. Um, mm. But with VTubing, I can actively choose um, basically what my virtual yes. space looks like. And to me, yes. it's all bakery. It's all bakery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I want it to just be this stuff I love and I can just store it digitally. It's not cluttering up my space. <laughs> Yes. Um, and, you know, hoarding digital art is never a problem because I just have pictures mm -hmm. of pretty artwork mm -hmm. I've commissioned and it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's become like a, a digital playground for me where I can decorate things as I like. It's like having a virtual bedroom and having mm -hmm. a little virtual bakery job. Like, I don't know how yeah. to explain the joy it brings to me. Yeah. And so the fact that it brings you joy too, and that like you see, you see that is is really cool and awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I have yeah. things to gush over about with you oh. though. I certainly <laughs> do. <laughs> Well, when I think I think when I first met you and I was watching your streams, my first impressions were just like this is this is so chill. Like <laughs> you just exude the vibe of someone that is comfortable, is like experienced, is just like put together. <laughs> experienced. Well, I don't know. It's just the way you hold yourself. It has oh. it has like I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I love to see it. I I mean, again, oh. I try my best to present myself this way, my, you know, because I feel very inspired by others. Mm. But when people sort of come off as feeling very comfortable with themselves um, and their choices or something like that, it makes me very happy. I'm like, mm. huh, I should also should also do that <laughs> a little bit yeah. with myself. And so, I yeah, I feel, I feel like... You just seemed really comfy as well, because, you know, I love that comfy aesthetic. Um, the Okay, the blue and yellow hair and the blue and yellow mm. eye. Mm. <laughs> Being a design nerd, I was like, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> it works, it works. I feel, like, I feel like I cooked with it. I remember when I was first designing Teeny, one of my mods was like, I don't like the heterochromia. And I was like, I think you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, live your truth. <laughs> they are wrong. Anyone that says heterochromia is cringe like the different colored eyes are cringe or something like that i'm gonna look at them in the eyes and be like so you don't like fun yeah so you don't like fun things Literally, yeah just let people huh? let people do what they're gonna do <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean same thing for me when people don't don't like uh don't like me doing in general i'm like okay so you don't mm. like fun cute things all right yeah. i mean it doesn't have That's to okay. be for everyone you can just tell me that you're not fun That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like listen, I for me I'm like it's fine if it's just not your thing cuz nothing's going to yeah. be for everyone. But if you're going to vehemently be like it's weird, I'm like you just haven't found a VTuber that works it's with true. your aesthetic yet because That's I true. think that there is a VTuber for everyone under the sun looking mm -hmm. at how many 
there's so many different kinds of streamers. There's like yeah. every everything possible with content is like yes. encapsulated amongst VTubers. We are just a type of Absolutely. streaming. We're just a type of streamer. I feel yeah. Yeah. Look, chat is like mm -hmm. unanimously loving loving your eyes. Just as <laughs> as do I. You Thank got little you. stars in them too. Thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> But also Spring Teeny. I think Spring Teeny, just from when you first sort of uh, kind of <clears throat> leaked her, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, you leaked that gorgeous model to me. Um, and Spring Teeny is so gorgeous. I love them. I love the eyes, the eyelashes, the I don't know something about that cottage core, yeah. but keeping like the simplicity. You got the matcha colors. You have the brown. You have the blue and the yellow. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Teeny. <laughs> Honestly, a big Teeny. inspo for Spring Teeny was I feel like I feel like when I go through and I do my debut and I'm gonna have my slides that are like here are all my credits. I'm gonna have like two pages just full of like these are people that inspired me because I pulled like inspo from here and inspo from mm. here and inspo from this person and inspo from this person. Oh, that's cool. But, like, <laughs> a really big main inspo for me was Spring Bow because. <gasps> oh. I loved the like the sheer outer skirt and I loved the like the brown colors and because I don't know I love I love warm cozy colors too but I always get I get stuck on like the blues and the greens <laughs> so I wanted to have like more warm colors and I wasn't sure if it was gonna look good and then Bao did it with her spring look and I was like oh shit <laughs> so, uh... I can't do it so yeah, I remember. that definitely like, pushed me to to sit down and work on it. Oh no, that's true because I do recall you telling me about this after Bao's like spring debut as well. Mm -hmm. You're like, I love when VTubers do something like different or like when they yeah or different from their original branding. Yes, and I mean now yeah. there's Princess Bao, which is also adorable. Um, yes, it's true. It's but, funny yeah. though how long how long planning a debut takes like. Spring teeny isn't fully cooked and I'm already on the next one. So <laughs> <laughs> See, this is how this is this is real. This is real. Mm, mm. Just keep doing what you love. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My cat's here. Hi, kitty. Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. And I always sort of loved your your approach to just like having really just cozy just really really cozy comfortable relaxing and like you mentioned this just briefly before you started the stream but you don't really put on um a specific character and i do love mm. i love things with immersion but it's equal it's equally comfy to just watch a vtuber that's like yeah streaming is just my medium because i i feel like yeah. i'm i lean more towards that end of the spectrum if you will of vtubers mm. like vtubers that like really have the character going and VTubers who are just like, I'm literally just the exact same person, but yeah. anime. <laughs> I'm so impressed with people who are able to like hold immersion and not break it at any point in time <laughs> because I simply could never. But that being said, like, I also did not get into VTubing with the idea that like I wanted to play a character. Like, yeah. I literally just wanted, I liked. I liked VTubing because it provided me with like a little bit of dis distance between myself and like the thing that's on screen. <laughs> I agree. Um, but also because I wanted to support artists. Like that yeah. was that was one of the biggest like, oh, this would be so fun. Is wow, the VTubing community is so deeply rooted in supporting artists and that is really fun. I so. love that artists are the backbone of our community. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we both do art as well. Like you're you're a designer. Mm -hmm. You literally also helped put together like my entire card site. I like gushed over it with chat when you delivered it to me. <laughs> like my current my current card site with my socials and stuff. I have things yeah. I need to update myself on that end. But like it's it's mm -hmm. beautiful. I do love it. Mm -hmm. You are a skilled designer. Um, Thank can't you. wait to see more teeny tanuki designs and Thank such. You. Um, and I guess for me being an illustrator, seeing VTubing, I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing that. There's not really a question yeah. in my mind. I don't think I would have ever actually become a streamer if it weren't for VTubing. Because mm. I think for me, I have a very strong sense of privacy on the internet. 
Mm. Um, I've or I've or kind of always just felt that way, where I'm like, I kind of want to be able to log off and then just like be like no one at all. Uh, <laughs> it gives me a sense of comfort that I can log off and not be a different person, but just feel fully comfortable that like, yeah, <laughs> that I'm like not a fair. content creator when I log off. That's like, so you know funny. what I mean? <laughs> That's so funny. Hi, welcome in, Fred Tack. Welcome in for the first time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone Hi, that's watching this stream and lurking. I know our special guest streams are a little bit different, but I enjoy them very, very much. It's very special Hello for me. <laughs> to all of my community who has flocked here. Hi, yes. hi. It's all hi. in my right hi, now. Hi, Oh my gosh. This is a thread. Thank you for coming to, to watch Toast Talks. I love listening in on these. I'm glad. Makes me really happy. Uh, I I had no confidence in being able to host something like this, but just inviting on people that I already knew I like talked to, vibed with, wanted to get mm -hmm. to know a little better on top of, of all those things makes perfect sense I thought to me. it was so funny during your debut when you showed off this scene and you were like, I'm so excited to like host talks here. Um, and then I came into the chat and you were like, not that I would ever ask anybody on stream if they wanted to do a collab, but also teeny. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I, I literally only ever do that when I have like a 99.9% .9 confidence in my brain that it wouldn't be weird, you know? <laughs> funny it was so funny that you were like i would never do this also teeny when are you gonna come be on toast yeah when are you gonna come like, Sign me when up are you gonna come on toast talks when are you gonna sit in the hot seat <laughs> here you are now here i am i'm, I'm really you glad i made it I'm really really glad that we could have this i do i do want you back on in spring teeny form i would love that yes I haven't asked yes. on any repeat guests just yet because there's so many people that i have still yes. to like I don't know. I feel like I love I love just bringing in new people that maybe my chat hasn't mm. seen before or people that I'm mm. just getting to know. So I'm rotating yeah. through them, but come back on. <laughs> okay. Come back on I and gush about your model. Allow me to be I mean... a spokesperson. Because I do really love everything teeny. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. You're also just like so kind and supportive to not only me, just like all your friends in the VTubing space. And I'm like, wow. Oh my gosh, Teeny is so cool. Teeny is so... Thank you. Teeny spreads good vibes. Anyhow. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll gush over you. Got a big crush. Got a big crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have a crush on you. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. It's almost, oh. it's almost like bird lovers. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's almost it's like so the feelings weird. mutual or something. Hmm, hmm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yesterday was white day. My collab with Teeny today. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> um, We're in love, actually. Thank you. We're going to end oh the stream gosh. now and be in love. Yeah, Bye. we're going we're to end the stream and like, go on a date or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. I can't steal. I can't steal you away. Can't steal you away from your partner. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be too cruel. But maybe I will very kindly ask them for permission to take you on yeah. a date. <laughs> That's allowed. Platonic date. Platonic tuber date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Drinking Wednesday, that's funny. I fear the day we expand past Kyle's knowledge of VTubers. The day Kyle's that I... everywhere. That's what... Exactly. Exactly. The day I invite a Toast Talks, Talks guest on and it's someone Kyle doesn't know, it's Jover. Like, what reality will we be living in? Oh my god, that's just like... Fungi. Fungi has such an extensive knowledge of VTubers. And I remember there was one time where I was talking about... I was like, what is the name of the chicken? And I, <laughs> that was the only information that I gave. And then Funky was like, oh, you mean insert username here? And I was like, you are so knowledgeable. That is <laughs> so crazy. Funny. I don't and have I the space. Like, Isn't there a chicken VTuber? And then you can just pull up the, yeah, I think it's, is it, isn't it her birthday today? There's a couple, there's a couple of different Eddie? chicken VTubers. Like Pewdin yeah. is another sweet chicken tuber that I that I know of. It is her birthday. <gasps> wow! Birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh my gosh! There's I, a tuber for everything, truly. There is. Mm. Oh, well. I'm still waiting for this one to be real. I saw a tweet and it was genius. It was so genius that I I totally lost the tweet, so I can't contact them anymore. But I was like. 
It's like, I want to design this VTuber concept. Someone was like, okay, I've got a concept for a VTuber, and I don't think it exists yet, but a landlord VTuber who calls their chat yes. tenants. Have you seen, did you I see that? I saw that tweet, yeah. I was like, I, I almost just want to draw this and draw their mascot and like everything. <laughs> That's so funny. I actually have more stuff with my Apple OC. I just haven't had time to like draw it. But mm. I, her... <laughs> It's crazy because I have my Apple OC who's like canonically a VTuber in my head. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll like make her model and everything and then it's like never going to get used anywhere. And I know for a fact that there's going to be some people that are a little upset about that, but that's okay. You could always... Um, I'm not upset to anger people. Seen, I don't know if you've seen Tricky's new model, the spider. Uh, have you seen her new oh model? Oh yeah, it's like perhaps? when you have your OC... Um, your OC, but you can just like have their model. Yeah. So mm. like, um, Tricky's new OC. Her name is Nouvelle, oh. and she's a spider, and she's done by Camo, um, and it's a beautiful model. Mm -hmm. Um, and she uses it as just like a redeem on her stream. So like, I should do that. <laughs> want to? I don't know. Yeah. Or she'll just do like she'll do secondary like Novell streams. She's still streaming as like her in theory but it's just like an over dramatized version of of this oc that she's made so that's so real yeah. but um it's definitely something that you could do yeah i don't know because i think the reason why i was hesitating about it at first was because i saw someone i saw like some showcase for a different sample model it was a really awesome one but i did see like overwhelmingly Again, not that I should think too much about what other people think, <laughs> but there is sort of an overwhelming majority of people that are like, it is such a shame that this is not being used like on a creator. And I'm like, that's that's one way of thinking about it for sure. Um, but I was I like, think oh. <laughs> people need to chill out. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But also, I think it, it in a sense, it is a compliment, though, because rather they want to yeah. see it a lot. They want to see it used a lot. And that's the only that's thing. <laughs> I don't know. I've had a lot of thoughts about like changing up Teeny as mm. a as a being like entirely because the whole thing of being a Tanuki was because I had the username Teeny Tanuki before I decided on my OC. Oh. So I was like, it would be silly if I didn't make her a Tanuki, <sighs> so I guess I just will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I feel um, like you're not married to the concept, you know? It's true. Near your and it's one of those things also, the idea of a tanuki is that they are like shapeshifters. <gasps> so in theory, it could just be part of the lore. That's that right. Just, you know? That's you right. Know. You are so smart. You are so, so, <laughs> yeah. so smart. Mm. Oh my mm. goodness. Please do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so excited because I'm thinking about it. Right. I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it, girl. I'm just thinking about it. Because tanukis, they can be anything. So in mm. in turn, you could be anything. But that's what VTubing yep. does, anyways. I find it so interesting that sometimes I see people that watch VTubers, and then the VTuber has a rebrand or something, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I can't get used to it," or like, "Oh, like yeah, they're changing." Like, I can't believe you. I can't believe you just did that or yeah, like yeah, or yeah. Like, how like, am I supposed to how am I supposed to adjust <laughs> it, it's like people change of course and I guess with VTubers yeah. it is like your model is your face so people get really yeah. used to that with the voice and stuff um so I think people can be strategic about rebrands but at the same time I'm like don't stop yourself from doing what you like VTubing is a hobby first <laughs> I mean yeah. doing is a really awesome and wild, also, wild world of creativity. As much as I think, I don't know, I, I have said this before about VTubing. I like, before being a, a self-employed VTuber, I was a self-employed jewelry artist. So I would set up at oh. markets and I would sell my jewelry all the time. And I liked that not because I liked making jewelry. I liked it because I liked setting up at markets and people came up to me and they were like, wow, this is so pretty. Did you make this? And I would say, yeah. And then we would start talking and then I liked the conversational aspect of it. Mm. And streaming does literally the exact same thing. For me. People come in and they're like, wow, I like your model. And I'm like, thanks. I designed her myself. And then we keep talking is like the same. It's the same energy. So I feel like as much as you know your model is important because it brings people in mm. with the aesthetics it's also like 
in theory, they should be staying for you. For you as a person. Absolutely. It's just what starts. What you look like. Yeah. (laughs) It's just what starts the conversation. And I don't Mm. mean this in a bad way or or at all. This is just a story. But I I think there there have absolutely been people that have been like, ooh, nice model. And I've just never seen them again. (laughs) <laughs> However, yeah. I still really appreciate them because in my head, I'm like, they could be lurking in every stream and I don't know. And also, That's true. <laughs> also on top of that, um, the fact that they took the time to even just say like, nice model. For me, I guess it hits That's really true. personally because I spent so much time yes. illustrating her and designing yes. her. And then Moji, who's one of my best friends, learned yeah. live 2D rigging just to bring some of the VTubing stuff to life. Yes. And it's like, yeah. it's this really long, and I guess by now yeah. it's an over one year journey of like building this so when people like yourself actually (laughs) blush still blushing and tapping my fingers um (laughs) i don't know when people tell me that they they like what things are like here i i get i can't help but sort of think about how how long it took or like all the all the various factors the amount of time the amount of time that went into slowly slowly um growing this like from the bottom up I was a PNG. T- I was a PNG tuber, with no overlays mm. and no nothing mm. at all. <laughs> so it's yeah. it's very it's very wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, Mushi, have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. But I don't know. I think VTubing is awesome in the way it brings people together and allows us to do whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Um. Also, Fawn Comics asks, "What the dog doing? <laughs> what the dog doing?" <laughs> oh you know just just sitting just, just, just sitting. sitting in the bakery <laughs> what the dog doing i always forget that tanukis are dogs because <laughs> they, are? they are just raccoon dog yeah oh raccoon dogs that's right yeah 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 mm. so they, they're technically a dog they're a canid <laughs> of sorts what the raccoon dog doing <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know. I love that sentence. That was so Canadian of me. <laughs> oh, you know. I I think I already knew, but I had forgotten. I had conveniently far- forgotten until you, you mentioned again <laughs> that you're Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Not that it matters, but I was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the tanuki and the fox that went to the festival this week? What? Uh-huh. Oh? Festival? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Of course there isn't anything wrong with that. I had just, for some reason, it slipped my mind. When we were arranging the collab and we were talking about, um, like, time zones and stuff. It just, my brain doesn't click. <laughs> mm. My brain don't work. Sometimes. But, uh, Luna, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I'm joined by lovely friend Teeny Tanaki today. Hello. For a little talk show stream. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, in Japan, Japan. Tanuki and a fox oh. went to a human festival and are a bunch of food and, and drink a bunch of what? Passed huh? out next to each other? That's wild. Wait. Wait, seriously? <laughs> is this a that's real so is this a real epic. article or something? Because that's adorable. I mean I hope they are they fr- they feel okay, because I don't think tanukis and foxes are supposed to drink beer, but <laughs> if they're if they're still, you know. They're feeling fine. Besides being a little hungover. Tanuki and the Kitsune walk into a bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I if I had a foxy fox ears right now, if I had fox ears right this now, we could in recreate the 90s? it. Oh, it was oh. in the nineties. You just looked it up. That's really cute. That's so funny. <laughs> just pretend that's these us. are foxy. That's ears. us right now walking into a bar. Dong. Metal pipe sound effect. <laughs> 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 just sent it to the teeny discord okay i'm running run 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 while you're you running Florida. speaking of parts of the world you know japan canada the states um lionaries who is currently on vacation and figured it'd be a good time to ask this wants to know where in the world would you like to travel that you have not been yet <laughs> I want to go to Japan because I there's so many uh, there's so many things that I want to do in Japan. <laughs> real, like, real. 
I'm a big fan of、um, Japanese street fashion, so I like <gasps> to go shopping <gasps> and、um, like big. Big anime enjoyer, so I would love to be able to not have to pay a thousand <gasps> import fees to get all the like merch that I want to buy. True, um, and I want to try the food. I grew up on this like tiny little Canadian island,、mm. um, kind of out in the middle of the ocean, and I, see, I, I, see. I grew up on a lot of seafood. As you do when you live on an island,、oh. um, but now I live in like the middle of Canada, and there is <laughs> there there is no ocean here. Oh so no! So I miss ocean food. So I would like to go to、um, to Japan to just like try all the all the seafood would be amazing.、Um, oh heck yeah! <laughs> the raw fish. Specifically, I would like to go. Um, hiking. I would like to hike Mount Fuji if I went at the right time of year.、Um, and I also would like to go camping. Big camping enjoyer. Yeah.、Ah, <laughs> you you really like Euro Camp, right? Season three. Season、mm. three. I'm, I'm excited. So excited. It's gonna、soon. be really cozy. Did you see? Okay, I'm gonna be a big nerd about this for a second. Oh yeah. Um, I you probably saw it because I was retweeting so much of it. But、um, in celebration of Yuru Camp season three, they did a collaboration with the penguin.、Um, no, it was、oh. with the Japan Rail <laughs> Company, and they released a、um, like special edition Yuru Camp themed train. Oh,、did、dude, I love、that? train collabs. I did. I, I did. I love the、so、Chikawa was, one too. <laughs> on the same、um, route as the Evangelion train that's running <gasps> currently. Oh my gosh!、Um, so at the end of the route, it stops at the like, the the big、um, there's like a s- public statue of the of the what is it called the staff from Evangelion? I forget. I have、called. no clue because I haven't、staff、seen of, it yet. <laughs> staff of、uh, long, long genius. Anyway, I, I don't remember, but <laughs> it's, it runs the same route. Um, and because of that, at all of the like stations throughout, there's like a special edition Euro Camp stamp rally.、Ah. I have the, I have the train neurodivergency, so please forgive me because I will talk about this for hours if you let me. But、no、I'm、problem. really excited about <laughs> it, and I want to, I want to go see it, and I want to sit on it, and I want to take pictures, and I want to bring my little Euro Camp Nendroids and take pictures of my Nendroids on the train. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you should. I don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs>、mm-hmm. Make it come true. That sounds awesome. I think for me. Um, I guess in terms of traveling places, I have been to Japan before, but when I was too young to appreciate the、mm-hmm. places my parents chose to go, if that makes sense.、Um, right. So I haven't touched Tokyo,、mm. and I remember at that age I was also complaining because I was a Pokemon fan and a Sanrio、right. fan, and I was like, "We're gonna go to the home of all these things and not see any、yeah. of it." Yes. <laughs> However, like we just went to historical places, but、mm. obviously. After like many many years later, I was like, I would appreciate it if I went there now because it's very、yes. pretty and very cool, and I、yeah. I can like learn the history. But I、yeah. was too young when I went to actually know, so、As、I was probably child, being whiny. You're probably like, <laughs> these are just buildings. <laughs> yeah, I actually told、yeah. my mom like we're gonna go to another. Building that looks the same as the other ones, design-wise, just a different color. Because I didn't, child, I didn't get、like、it.、Whatever. I was a small、yeah. child, exactly. I didn't get it.、Yeah. <laughs> um, but actually, to to go to a country I haven't visited before, I always say Europe.、Mm. I want to go to Europe because I've never been, never ever、mm. been, and I've probably, <laughs> probably been、um, having. Like just the dreams of a vacation to Europe since I was quite young because I grew up dancing a lot of ballet and like Europe it was like the central for、right. ballet opera、yes. all these performing arts stuff that I I was a fan of I was a real fan <laughs> of it、um, yeah it's kind of bad though I had like a little little purse with like an Eiffel Tower on it and I thought it was the coolest thing ever it was like it was like that <laughs> but I was also like、um, a small child. <laughs> If you like Animal、Honey. Crossing, have you seen 
there there's this guy on tiktok who spent the last year traveling to every single museum that has oh, all I of the real that. life yeah the animal crossing that was museum awesome. pieces yeah so he went like all over europe he went throughout asia like just literally everywhere it's crazy man <laughs> uh but yeah i realized i said traveling to countries i meant europe like the continent i know that europe is not a country <laughs> just to clarify <laughs> um but this, for like specific places within europe i want to go to a lot of different places in europe um but i think i definitely want to visit paris france um because mm -hmm. that's a home to a lot of things that i that like childhood me would be such a nerd about <laughs> Your bakery loving heart would be so ecstatic. That's true. That's true. I just want to. I just want to witness it like once in my life. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see what the view is that people talk about Paris at night. I want to book myself an Airbnb and just sit there at the window with like the lights on this cool triangular building that I used to nerd out about because I thought it looked really yeah. pretty as a kid. So I want to yeah. experience that. Um, I have to go to Italy because food, please, food. I have to go to Italy. Yes. I must, I must. Um, also because it's beautiful. I feel like a lot of European architecture is really gorgeous from what I've seen. And then uh, lastly, this is super specific. I want to go biking in Amsterdam. Very specific, but it's like a dream. That's valid. <laughs> I That's think fair. Amsterdam looks so pretty. I, I, again, I don't actually know anything about any of these places, so my impressions of them could be shattered and so very wrong. Mm. Um, but yeah, and oh, and Austria. <laughs> The place of music, of classical music. I feel like I, it would be very, very beautiful. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. I think it's it would just be a 180 from things I'm familiar with because I have my family. A lot of my relatives are literally in East Asia, so traveling there has been more, I suppose accessible more normal yes, <laughs> uh, throughout fair. my life like that's going fair. there every few years is like just part of a routine pretty much to see family um I see. yeah i mean less so more recently because you know there might have kind of been a historical event that made everyone stay yeah. in the same place for a yep. <laughs> period of time yep. um but yeah this is I, true. I would love to go to more places yeah in asia though i will be visiting uh, Morocco probably within <gasps> the next like year or two. Um, my stepmom lives there with her new husband and her baby and oh, my nice. little, little sister. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, yeah, you have a little sister. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Officially, like a month ago. So. Oh, so like a really baby sister. Yeah. I'm oh gonna my god. Rip her like the red shake emote. <gasps> I'm Utah. excited to meet her. Yeah. Do you have any other siblings? Nope. Oh, that's so special nope. then, though. Just me. It's oh. going to be so funny. Like, because this is a little sister via my stepmom and her new husband. So, like, not mm. related at all. Kind of really not at all. But, like, in, in the ways that matter. In you the know ways what I that mean? matter. Yeah. And I mean, it's going to be so funny being, like, a like middle-aged wine aunt and being like hello baby sister would you like to go for your first drink and i'm gonna be like gray haired and like <laughs> oh right i was gonna say like by yeah. the time you guys can share a drink yeah. together yeah <laughs> the gap will be <laughs> yeah i think that would be fun though it'll be good that'll be great you'll have like a streak of silver hair yeah. Silver-haired Tanuki a, strolls into a bar, bringing the freshly 21-year-old younger sister, just like, let me show you. It's gonna be <laughs> so funny, like, that, you know, this is gonna be so far into our future that I'm gonna be like, when I was your age, I was a VTuber, and they're gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Those I don't think it'll still anymore. be around. I think VTubing... As long as the internet is around, I think VTubing is gonna yeah, stay. I think so too. Now that it exists, it's gotta extend. It's gotta stay. <gasps> Hi, Leafy. Yeah. My two favorite streamers. I no way. 
<laughs> You're so sweetly for you. Good to see you. Sinakami 321 uh, gifted a tier 1 sub to Leafy who underscore you. They have given yeah. 178 gift subs in the channel. <gasps> Suna, thank you. Also, Leafy, earlier we were talking about like tech and colors that they should like cute colors that they should make tech in. Because first of all, we need more white tech and like... Yes. Yeah, because every why is everything t that's tech like dark and like gray and dreary? <laughs> I don't know. Green, please. Yeah, we were saying green. Green, blue. Because I was talking about pink tech, but Teeny was right in pointing out that when they make quote unquote cute colors, there aren't nearly enough. <laughs> yeah, they need more. We need new ones. You've been looking for a white and green keyboard? I swear it exists. Hold on. I could out. have sworn I've seen like a Hear matcha. Me out. Build one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Depends on your budget, but I searched up a matcha keyboard and there's lots of white and green ones. Mm. You found one? But yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> ah. Keyboards are good though because you can customize them yourself so easily. Yeah, I love changing out the. Or I love having custom keycaps. We're well, not custom, but I just ordered different keycaps to go on my keyboard. I feel like I'm. I'm <laughs> building a new keyboard soon, actually. Someone in my community was like, if I send you the money to build me a keyboard, can you build me a keyboard? And I was like, yes. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. I'm just waiting for. I have the base and I have the switches. I'm just waiting for the keycaps. Oh, I think my, my keyboard I didn't build like from scratch. I got one of the ones that already had switches and then you just get your own mm. caps. Um, mm. But I like it. I like it that way. It was it was convenient because I haven't gone too deeply into the keyboard world. Um, yeah. Not yet. The, not yet. The first just, one just, that just I wait. did. <laughs> the first one that I did was it was like um it was the Logitech Aurora keyboard and mm. then i just ripped the keycaps off of it and replaced them um so that was like a first start to like seeing how keyboards work um but the the faceplate is like soldered over it so you can't switch the the switches at all um so when i got my second one i was like yeah i want to make sure that it's like hot swappable so i can i can change it out if i want to and i'm starting to learn more about that so i officially have three keyboards now that I can like switch back and forth between. Oh, that's oh. nice. Mm. Let's go. I just have one, but sometimes my cat sleeps on it and I'm like, hmm, well, <laughs> guess it's your bed now. I can't do any Ooh, work. Comfy, <laughs> comfy massage bed. Literally. Step on it and it moves. <laughs> it's like, ooh, what, what happens if I press this? It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Do you have cats? Am I, am I... Do you have any pets? No. I have two bunnies. Oh, right. I remember bunnies. I knew you had pets, yes. though. Yeah. Cute, cute baby bunnies. Yeah. My uh, oldest bunny, she passed away in mm. June. Mm. Um, and she was 11, which oh, is like wow. crazy. Bunnies don't usually live that <gasps> long. So, Granny bunny. Uh, <laughs> it's like... And whenever I would go to the pet store and I would buy like hay or whatever, people would let me know like, oh, you know, like we have a point rewards program, like forever, how many bags of hay you buy, uh, you'll get like uh, one for free. And I would be like, yeah, well, you go through like a lot of bags of hay in 11 years and they would be like, your bunny is 11. Like it was just not like a, <laughs> like a common thing that you hear. They even went to the bet, the, the bet, the vet the other day um, and the vet was like, your bunny was 11 like it's, oh. just like it's not a common thing at all oh wow um well she wanted to uh, stick around for as long as possible i know it mm. Mm. but now i have uh, a new little baby <gasps> she's like two years old less oh than gosh. probably um and her name is minna oh uh, and then the other one uh is bean and bean is like six years old so. cute Oh my goodness. I love bunnies. I mean, if you if you couldn't <clears throat> tell. <laughs> I love bunnies. Just a little. I think I'm not really Pushing equipped to be like a bunny owner. As much a as a, a cat owner, though. And I if, don't think I could co-own I... a cat and a bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For well, you never know. 
if you if you have a cat that's like very gentle mm. then it's definitely a possibility i like when i i used to live with a mm. roommate and she had to move out because she adopted a cat and they <gasps> did not get along oh, with no. the bunnies but then my next roommate who moved in also had a cat but she was so old and gentle <laughs> that the bunnies were like not stressed out at all like oh that's good she would just sit there beside their like enclosure and stare at them and they were not threatened they that's were like so good. Chilling. okay i'm happy so for funny. them that's so sweet i think so i think it depends on the temperament of your animals you know i guess it makes sense my my cats my cat is very sweet. Um, I love pretzel, but I would say that my cat's pretty young, like a year mm. old right now. So considerably yeah. young, still somewhat energetic, although clumsy and silly. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, I just don't think that bunny would have a good time. Yeah, I want fair. a good life for the bunny. Get, and a good life you can for also my cat. Get really feisty bunnies though that will stand up for themselves. So oh, yeah. you never know. One yeah. of my friends. One of my friends has a bunny and or like has a a younger bunny um and th that bunny is violent yeah i think it depends it really I did depends not on realize. the temperament of your animal right now i'm trying to work on bonding the two of them but it's not going super well because they're both female and also Bean's uh, been alone for a while now, so it's not going as smoothly as I mm -hmm. hoped that it would. Mm -hmm. um, but it also took me a year the last two bunnies, so I'm being very patient with it. And I see. see how it goes, but um uh they've scrapped a couple times and <gasps> oh, no. Minna fights back. Like I kind <laughs> of I thought that for like a little baby that she would just like get bullied. But she stands her ground and she thumps very loud and it's very funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. I feel like socializing animals comes with like a stress of its own because my housemate yeah. my housemate got um a kitten a, a while ago yeah. now. Um it's been it's been a while, but I remember that just a few months ago, my housemate got another kitten, but already has a cat and I have a cat and so it was just kind of a process of being like okay so you are on that side of the gate and they be yes. <laughs> and you are on this side of the gate and you yes. will slowly get used to each other until you can cohabitate the situation but that now we're in chill. right now too <laughs> it just took like a month and then they're chill so I think we were very lucky yeah. in that sense so yeah it's one of those be patient things with them. where right now I feel like Bean is being very like <laughs> tsundere <laughs> a little bit because, <laughs> because yeah because Aww. she like she'll lie beside I have them in separate like enclosures basically um. and there's a gate that's between them and she'll lie beside Minna like at the gate like she wants to be friends but then when I put them together for like in like a neutral space for them to meet each other she instantly wants to brawl so oh, i don't know what gosh. her deal is because <laughs> we'll put them back in their separate spaces and she'll be like yeah i'll just lie beside you while you're eating and it's really nice and i like having the company but also when i see you i'm gonna fight that's so funny it. it's like it was fine when there was a gate between us yeah like i wanted to be friends with you when you lived in a different room yeah but we could not live together <laughs> I don't get it. I They're so funny. It. I love animals. Uh, They're so silly. They are silly little guys. Funny. They're darling. Yeah, thank you for telling me about your bunnies. I think that's really cute. I love them. I got Thank this piece them. of art recently. Wait, let me send it to you actually. I got this piece of art recently mm. of me and all of my bunnies. So it has all three of them. Ramona is on my lap and then the other two are beside <gasps> me. Oh my god! And it's so precious. I'll send it to you here if I can find it in my downloads folder. <laughs> this is where everything goes to die, honestly. No worries at all. Oh, honestly, yeah. I need to clean up my downloads folder too. Especially because I like I, live download things to my download folder yeah. on stream I just keep, to show things. <laughs> I keep joking that I'm like gonna do a downloads folder clean out stream where I just, it's just chatting while I focus on cleaning up. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a good time. It's like a co-working stream. Yeah. <laughs> I have to organize my Mint My folder. I have a Mint My folder. Um, mm. 
which is where everything is goes everything and there's so much there's so many subfolders yeah it's like a folder that splits into eight folders and then within those eight folders there's one which is like my personal folder which then splits into i cannot count how many folders this is it's like 30 it's like 30 folders <laughs> bread <Shut> i have <laughs> bread <laughs> Oh my gosh, Zinchel! <laughs> Purge the files. <laughs> that sounds yelling <yeah>, dangerous. <laughs> Sheesh. Um. Yeah, I sent you this art. It's very precious with the <gasps> with the all the oh, oh, the oh yeah. Wait, I love this art of you. Can I pull it up on stream? Yeah, yeah. of course. This will go into my downloads folder. <laughs> <laughs> This is so gorgeous. Which artist um, illustrated this? Ooh, um, Mert Burt, who only works out of Instagram at the moment. Um, oh, no problem, not a problem. Mary did art for um, Maya's offline screen, if you are from ah. the Maya community. Oh, yes. Big E.T. <laughs> yeah. I might have found you through Maya, too, like all, all, all that time ago. Very long time ago. It's been a while. But I'm trying to think of Thanks. where where I first discovered the teeny of Tanukis. I don't know. Maybe just Twitter. Yeah, I think a lot of things are, are through Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at this pretty art! I put it in like a window behind us. <laughs> it's like we're in the train. Oh my gosh, it is a train! <laughs> yeah. I mean, you had just talked about trains and... You are in a train. This is so beautiful, yeah. though. Your bunnies are so cute. Can you so tell I cute. like trains? Can you tell that I like trains and bunnies and <laughs> I only have two personality traits? <laughs> okay, but like teeny tanuki train moving overlay? Yeah! I Where you're in love. a train and like the, the, the little handles swing as there's a background oh, that loops? I would love... Can't remember how I found teenies. I don't know. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm in, is I'm, everywhere. I'm, I'm not as everywhere as Kyle, but <laughs> I I love wearing the funny streamer hat, but I also love wearing the funny fan hat, and I exist <gasps> in so many communities. So the thing that has been paining me a lot lately is my deadlines and having to do pretty intensive amounts of work at a time yeah. and it pains me because the only time I see people that I want to watch live is when I'm setting up for my stream and I'm like oh yes. my goodness I don't get to like I don't get to participate in these communities yeah. that I love yeah, um, but I, I keep feel this. I don't know I keep joking about it with chat and I'm like I need a place to dump my fangirling um, my yeah. VTuber and like anime and manga fangirling so yes and maybe even food fangirling i have no idea i just need somewhere to dump my thoughts that isn't yeah my main twitter <laughs> that's fair not that i want to keep fair. things like that professional but i do kind of have like i just hesitate to to go full 100 percent on these things so yes. openly <laughs> I understand. I'm when like the this way. Uh, Yuru Camp train was announced, I think I retweeted like 30 things and then was like, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. No, don't be sorry. I'm so sorry. Tell us about your interests. <laughs> Share them. Yeah. Because <laughs> for me, I'm like, ah, I want like a dedicated page to just be a fan and like put people. Yeah. yeah I, I just want a place to just be a fan and then yeah. post screenshots of my Oshis and, and like yes. just be, <laughs> just exist. Yes. And I kind of. Recently. Yeah. <laughs> recently, I've been like so invested in like, I'm pretty sure it's called Oshikatsu. I might be wrong, mm. but like people who take pictures of their like little scrunglies out in public it's like my favorite genre of media on twitter right now and so i've been like bringing the clover acrylic stand with me every time i go to like tim hortons or like i go to like the grocery store i took a picture that was like clover at costco or whatever and i sent it in the clover chat and like everybody lost their mind because, <laughs> because they were like oh my god clover at costco so i mean at least it makes people like laugh and also it brings me joy so I've been doing a lot of that lately. <laughs> oh yeah. I want to do that a lot too. 
I sometimes I feel like um, doing that with my own merch, but I always forget to bring it outside. Because <laughs> I, I, I want to like just like carry like a small mint yeah. somewhere. So then when I take pictures, it, it is yeah. like I, I am there. So I don't have to like edit in a, a PNG yes. of my model later and it's got like a. Some of yeah. my like favorite <laughs> photos vibe. that I've ever received is um, one of my mods went to Disneyland and he brought his Teeny Tanuki keychain <laughs> and he took like a series of photos of like Teeny at the teacups and like Teeny at the castle and then like Teeny in the barrel of like iced Disney pickles and then like. <laughs> There was one that was like feeding Teeny to Mr. Toad. It was like a Mr. Toad statue or oh whatever. Oh my gosh. And it was just like, they are some of the pictures that are the most dear to me because it's so sweet that somebody that is like, so sweet. liked me enough that they wanted to like bring me on their little adventure with them. I don't know. It was That's very so sweet. That's so cute. I love that part of like, I guess you could say fan culture. Like to be Bushy sort culture. of manifested yeah. into like a little, a little piece. Of like yeah. you know a charm, a little standy, and then it can be taken places. Like wow. Yes. <laughs> Recently, I'm so sad because so my my Kami Oshi was the horse girl, uh, and she graduated uh, 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 uh. this week. So I'm still in <gasps> shambles a little bit, um, and I'm pretending that it's not real and I'm delusional. But anyway. Um, <laughs> It's okay. Horse, horse, horse forever. Horse, horse forever. Your Oshis are horse. forever. I'm so sad. But anyway, um, <laughs> Bisco did a release of uh, like um, birthday merch that was limited edition that was like an acrylic stand and like a keychain and a bunch mm. of other things. And I was like, well, it's pretty often that Corpo will do like re-releases of birthday merch. So I'm not going to worry about it too much because it'll probably come back next year. And then she announced her graduation and I sent like four emails to like the Brave Group service email that was like, please tell me there's some left. I was like, I was like, can, can you do a, can you do a flash sale, please? And they were like, we don't have any more. And I was like, no. And it was so tragic. And now I feel like I have so much trauma from not getting merch that I, this is going to be very unfortunate for my spending habits. And I'm going to end up buying a lot of merch all the time because I'll be scared that it won't come back. <laughs> Okay, I, I kind of feel you on the limited time merch thing because there's a lot of things I like that end up being like limited time merchandise, and it's yeah. it's bad. It's it's bad because there's just pressure of it not returning. Yeah. Although I think it's it's better now, but I, I get it with like, I guess, yeah, no, it's it's complicated. I mean, you could have never under... you could have never known, you know. I know that's the thing. I like I never could have known, but. Um... I'm planning to go to Ofkai, um, and I know that some of the the Biscotti fans, the Hoofies, mm -hmm. I know that they're gonna be there. So I've already connected with a couple of them, and mm. I have been like, I trade you one Bisco for one Bisco of like our fan merch. Oh <laughs> yeah, real, so real, real. Hopefully, at least I'll get some of that. And I've considered also like, you did this. And it inspired me, actually. The, like, the VTuber top loaders. Oh! <laughs> I would like to make more of those of my Oshis that I've, like, oh missed gosh. out on their merchandise. I think that's a really good idea. I'm I'm so happy people like those. Like, it gets brought up more, more often than I, <laughs> than I thought. Actually, um, mm. Ruki, if you know Ruki, who runs Mvelt, small business owner, um, they're mm. doing, like, a pop-up event um at wafu teyaki and i was sent these pictures i'm treasuring them but uruki sent me a picture of them setting up like the pop-up and it's pictures of the top loaders i Ooh, <laughs> i gave to cute. them and two of the umbelt staff so because they cute. had designs too and i made it for them when we met up together um and it was like the oshikatsus you were talking about but it was like their own yeah. like photo cards and i was like oh my gosh i'm so, so happy precious. that people enjoy something I made for them that much. I still have to make yeah. a teeny one, by the way. It is, it is, I, I will make one. <laughs> I knew that from the start. Um, are you doing any cons this year? If you are, I'll make sure to shove a top loader to your hands. <laughs> oh, 
I'm going to Offkai this year, mm. um, and I'm going to TwitchCon at the end of the year. Okay. And it's actually funny because TwitchCon is a week before my wedding, so hopefully, <gasps> hopefully that doesn't like uh, cause any issues. It was so funny when they announced the dates. I was like, Dandy, uh, TwitchCon is a week before the wedding, and Dandy was like, we can always cancel, and I was like, the wedding. <laughs> Dandy was like, "Yeah, we got." Dandy was like, "Yeah, we got. We gotta go to TwitchCon." And I was, oh. I was like, we always oh. just move the entire wedding, like one of the I biggest know. days for us for TwitchCon. No, like, no. no. <laughs> Dandy was like, "We can just cancel. We haven't booked too many things yet." And I was like, "My brother in Christ, I already bought a dress." <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, no, we cannot do that. Actually. <laughs> Congrats again. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. Thank you. We love to see it. Get married at TwitchCon. This is real. <laughs> live, live stream it. <laughs> yeah. Have your VT. Twitch I'm more important. <laughs> okay, wait. Quick question. I'm yeah. not someone that's like into sports or gets to or knows a lot of things about them. But if you saw the Super mm -hmm. Bowl, if you saw the rig setup that they had for the SpongeBob and Patrick for the Nickelodeon version, do you know anything about that? They made SpongeBob no. and Patrick VTubers, and they had the voice <sighs> actor. They did. To narrate, to like <laughs> commentate on the Super Bowl. And I'm like, this is the first time I think I've witnessed VTubers in Western mainstream media. It became a huge That's thing. It was sensational so on Twitter. People loved it. And I was like, this is the start. I feel it. This is the small That's start. This is so the smallest funny. spark on the ground. Well, yeah. I, feel I think like it's going to be long. I was long. thinking about this recently, but like, sometimes it's like wild to me that western people were like oh my god like hatsune miku at coachella that's crazy that would never have like that's so weird <laughs> like that wasn't on my bucket list blah blah blah, blah. but i'm like do you get did you watch the gorillas basically like, you... <laughs> the gorillas are the it's the same it's the same it's like i mean obviously not exactly because you know the gorillas are real people with the avatars but like they're still an anonymous group they're VTuber or V singers animated. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know. That's not like a like a new concept. Hatsune Miku is like a huge cultural icon. But also it's true. I think part of it is kind of this weird uh Western pop culture will reject like anime aligned things for a while until it becomes mm. palatable enough. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah. I feel like we're still in an era where anime is just becoming um widely western accepted yeah. but there's still people that think it's weird which is fine because there's always going to be someone that thinks something is weird but vtubers are like a step further you know <laughs> vtubers before are a little quit, bit of a step further than anime before i quit um... my job to pursue like content creation full-time mm -hmm. um i worked in a retail store mm -hmm. um and i remember there was this one person who came in one day it was like two teenagers who were in high school and uh one of them was wearing a like jacket it was like a cosplay jacket from like dobby from from my hero mm. and uh i walked up to them and i was like hi like how are you guys like how's your day welcome in and they were like hello and i was like do you like my hero <laughs> and they were they were like yeah and i was like cool Who's your favorite character? And they were like, um, D Dobby. And I was like, cool, mine's Bakugo. Anyway, what can I help you with? And it was just like, it was so funny. It was such a silly interaction because I was like, I'm a whole ass adult who like pays my taxes and my bills. And I also watch the same show as these like 14 year olds who are in my store. <laughs> okay, but like, I feel like something that I always liked about anime, so for instance, a little bit of my history, um, I studied animation, um, but like mm -hmm. obviously it's very different in the West, I think, and mm -hmm. there's something that I feel like still sort of struggles to be widely accepted in Western media, which is that because something is animated or hand-drawn or even done with CG, it's like it doesn't mean it needs to be for a pre-K through yeah sixth grade like as yes. the main audience yes like i for instance i love dungeon meshi dungeon meshi yeah. should not be read by by people well, people that are like younger than yes 13 like it's it's dark it, yeah. it gets it gets yeah. stuff happens <laughs> yes yeah 
I, I would even argue I would put a 16 plus rating on Dungeon Meshi. Like, yeah. If, if you really read into some of the... the Anyway, I love Dungeon Meshi. I'm, I could be a nerd <laughs> about it, but I'm going to stop there. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'm going to stop right there. Uh, but so funny. what I mean is, like, I feel like most, uh, most anime that at least like modern you know po popular anime you could say it's like for teens young adults and older yes. which i was like yes. wow fi finally like it's so good to and it's kind of all been that way for a long time where it's just so different where the industry yes in japan and asia like they cater these really or they just know that these very advanced stories, I guess, like they sell. Yes. And so they're willing to put budget and effort into it while over here they don't do that, which, you know, it <laughs> sad, <laughs> you know, there's, yeah. there's no major studio I... that's willing to. Mm. So. Yeah, I also appreciate like having cartoons, quote unquote, that are like adult based that aren't like Rick and Morty or like you know what I mean there's Being a very a specific genre there's a very specific genre of adult cartoons uh... that are like raunchy just for the sake of being raunchy because they can because they label themselves as adult cartoons and I don't love that which is why I love being puppycat so much and I yeah. have talked to you about how much yes, I like being yes. puppycat and I know that you do too I love and being it's like puppycat. I appreciate that they explore animation but also like adult themes without it being like just raunchy and and tasteless i don't know i mean you can family guy enjoyers i'm sorry but like <laughs> i just i just i don't i don't love when it's just like uh, i don't know yeah you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> i didn't even i didn't even think of like discussing that yet but good thing you're bringing it up because that's that's definitely a pet peeve of mine about mm -hmm. the the western or like western animation because it's like if you want to be an adult show then you must be you must like yeah. crack like raunchy jokes or like something yeah. or it either needs to be like offensive and loud yeah, and or like controversial or, or like whatever, yeah. yeah or like just like very very raunchy <laughs> like at least yeah. in, in my personal opinion i don't like it i don't like it and it's like you know what it's okay if someone wa wa wants that but yeah yeah um yeah i feel you i share the sentiment <laughs> yep so i think being puppy cat holds a special place in my heart for the exact same reason where it's like yeah. we are exploring the story of a very complex character who is like starts off literally like unemployed is figuring out what to do with their life like yeah doesn't really have much like they have you know i'll, I'll keep it spoiler free but like they have a lot of time and they're figuring out what to do with it like they're discovering a lot of things while going on cool space adventures i don't know it's yeah. awesome <laughs> exactly let 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 media i don't know i feel like animation is so powerful because you can technically do like so many different things with it right i mean of course it costs money needs budget <laughs> <laughs> to pay artists yes. to do it um yes. which is good because you should pay artists they need to eat but <laughs> it's like why why give us this power and then crank out media that is for very young kids or adults that like inappropriate yeah. jokes <laughs> like no, I, I th there's there's got to be more to this is what i'm saying I so totally agree. i hope it yeah, happens yeah. over time I think it will. It just probably needs to take some time, especially now that anime is becoming very popular. It's like, look, yes. stories for teens and young, young adults animated. Like, people want them. People want them. Yes. <laughs> also, hi, Crunch. Hello, hello. But yeah, I would say like uh, maybe Drinking Wednesdays asking about like Western animation art style. I would say there is not really an exact answer to that. I mean, I guess ugly is a subjective word as well it's completely you know it's completely at the discretion of the budget and and the people behind it yeah i think unfortunately a lot of western media prioritizes pumping out content more than the quality of the content so that can also be an issue that we mm. now as consumers especially adult consumers we like see it more than children would you know so in our eyes it, you can tell when 
when you're like, oh, this had so much potential, but you can tell that they rushed it or they didn't have enough budget or you know what I mean? It's I a think struggle. you are more <laughs> trained to see that as someone who has seen a lot of content once you're older, you know? So uh, I think that's that's part of it too, especially when you're also seeing content that, you know, takes years that's being put out in other places like Studio Ghibli that has a beautiful, amazing art and you're kind of like, oh, I wish all of it could be, you know, put in this much time and care. That's so. true. At the same time, it's yeah. like a huge double-edged sword. I mean, I there's no better way to put it, but there's a huge uh, overworking problem yes. in the anime industry. Yes. Um, also, like, you know, in the Western animation industry, I've seen some of it, like, dep depending on the production, of course, but I think, like, Japan's work culture, from what I've seen, like, not just animation, but, like, their their sales, like, their salary man work mm. culture to the anime industry, it's, like, heavily, heavily overworked yes. and underpaid. Um, yes. So it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to pick your poison because you can say, yeah. like, things that come out of Ghibli are amazing, but if you've ever seen some other information about how it's yeah. not so great working there it's very it's true. yeah it's it's it really true. hard to work for geniuses <laughs> i think yeah. that's the consensus yeah. it's so hard to make really beautiful stuff so we can just appreciate yes. that we do have some really beautiful stuff though yes. it makes me happy <laughs> i'll focus on that we definitely did a little bit of a spiral there not in a bad <laughs> way though i'm happy that I, there's someone that i can share like that sentiment with I think a lot of people mm. do share this sentiment, though. But also because, specifically, I know we both really like Bee and Puppy Cat. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, Bee and Puppy Cat was all... Oh, no worries. One second. Someone is knocking on my door. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. But yeah, no. I just think, you know, I wish they would create less content and make it higher quality. It's hard because everything's fragmented between different... Con um, not different countries. Everything's fragmented between different studios. Everything's... Um, this is such an insightful topic. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I don't go too deeply into it because I always like to focus on the things that I, I enjoy. I do feel passionately about this. I, I feel very, very passionately about this. Um, but trust me when I say that so many people that I know also feel equally impassioned about this. Um, although, you know, currently, currently all art industries are kind of in a, in a weird, weird place. Yeah, I don't know. Things will keep changing and shifting, so I feel like when you when you find something you really enjoy, just support it to the end, I guess. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I was on my little soapbox, just giving the tiniest, miniest of TED Talks. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome back. Hello. I was just saying, you know, once you find something that you truly enjoy, just support it wholeheartedly and, you know, maybe you'll see mm. something else that's like it again, you know? Mm -hmm. And not that there needs to be something that is like it, because you can just enjoy something for existing on its own. <laughs> True. Like, for me, there will never be something that is like being Puppy Cat. Like, there could be stuff mm -hmm. that's similar, it's just not the same. Same thing goes for yes. something like Denton Meshi. Like, those are, those are series. Bochi the Rock as well, you know? Mm. You can tell me how many, like, slice of life comedy things about girls in a club exist mm -hmm. and there there are tons but it's like they're irreplaceable specific pieces of media to me mm -hmm. i don't I know understand. i guess that's how i enjoy media i'm very picky i suppose <laughs> dun, 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 dun. sincerely hoping we get more bee and puppy cat me too it's not easy though because i mean from the very beginning they were a kickstarted crowdfunded show so it was, I'm sure it was just so much work to even get season two. I'm glad that we got lazy in space. <laughs> yes. I love being puppy cat with all of my heart. I'm a no. big fan. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 bum. I'm taking a peek. Taking a peek. Um. Oh. G also says, I hope people can stop pushing things into unnecessary boxes. I feel like at one point I've just accepted that that's kind of something that people will do no matter what. But you can you can consciously you can consciously train yourself into trying not to do that, you know? Because sometimes I'll even catch myself having like a certain expectation for a certain 
piece of media or something, and then it pleasantly surprises me. So who knows? <laughs> Hi, Cortanya. Mm -hmm. But yeah, got a few more questions as well, Teeny. Um, okay. we, we do still have the form pinned, I think, but we, we have more questions. Kyle wants to know, how did we get into VTubing or streaming in general? Hmm. Do you want to go first? <laughs> Ooh. Um, I feel like my story's a little bit boring. <laughs> or I don't know. Uh, so I joined VTubing when we were past the 2021 boom. Um, if that makes sense. I didn't re I knew about it then. I didn't end up going into the rabbit hole or anything like that. Um, mm -hmm. streaming was not something I, I had never watched streamers before. I was just someone that like let enjoyed edited content. Um, I made a Twitch account, but I didn't like have anything. I didn't follow anyone. <laughs> Probably one of the first people I followed was Bao because I've been following mm -hmm. Bao's music since like 2015 or 14. Mm -hmm. um, since like before before Bao. <laughs> and then yeah, I saw, I, I was like, oh my gosh, the singer I really station. like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, this singer I already really like is becoming a VTuber. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I just didn't really like... Again, I didn't... It, it, it sparked... Mm, I guess you could say curiosity, but not curious enough to to deep dive into it because I was going through so many yes. things. Like, I think yeah. 2020, 2021, 2022, those were all times I was just like going through a lot. I was going through it. <laughs> but, um, but that's okay, because character development. Yeah, just a lot was <laughs> happening. A lot was happening, both in terms of like work, in terms of like personal creative endeavors, right? Especially as an artist, you're always having this weird growth. This weird growth yeah. and this, and then burnout, and then you grow again, and then you burn. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Trying not to have that burnout though. I'm getting healthier. But anyhow, that aside, um, I was having a hard time. So I just kind of saw it and then I left it there. Left it at that in 2020, 2021. I'm like, oh yeah, VTubers are a thing. Hmm. Knew about Hollow Life too. I thought they were cute though, but never looked into streams or clips. Uh, 2022 summer rolls around. So it's already summer of 2022. Um, VTubing is continuing to still grow and i start getting actual like clips on my youtube like finally <laughs> yeah. after all this time i finally get some clips um i get like some iron mouse clips i get some hollow live clips i get some niji clips i'm getting all these clips from these i guess bigger streamers right because that's what gets pushed out um and yeah i started watching them i was like oh this is funny <laughs> This looks like fun. This looks like a lot of fun. And then I heard Iron Mouse sing and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And and then I continued to learn more about these streamers, um, discover that there's this entire world where you can have like an avatar and just do these. You can do anything you want. You can game, you can sing, mm -hmm. you can stream. And I was like, oh, wow, I want to do that. I was like, I like I like games. I like talking. I like yapping a lot, obviously. <laughs> I like, re uh, yeah, I, I have a problem with being very, very talkative. Um, She's a yapper. I am a yapper. <laughs> it's worse because like, I think I'm an introvert, so I like hold all these thoughts inside me. And then the second I'm given mm. an opportunity, it's like an endless, it's like the sink that's broken. You can't turn yes. it off. <laughs> yeah. So I figured I needed somewhere to re redirect this yapping energy I had. Yeah. So I would not, I could stop unloading a lot of it onto people in my life. <laughs> Like my very specific interests that um, I don't necessarily want to subject people mm. <laughs> to me, like fangirling over manga, for yeah. instance. For <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't want to subject people to that anymore. And I was like, you know what? Sounds good. Subjecting volunteers, and you know who volunteers are? Viewers, chat. That's true. <laughs> They're volunteering to true. be here. So I was like, okay, that sounds cool. And I thought no one was gonna watch me, but I was like, all right, let's do this. So I drew myself. I designed myself. Drew a PNG, made a Twitter account, and then I streamed Omori for the first time, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, long-winded story, but yeah, no, a lot okay. of different things brought mine me is, here. Mine is also long, and I feel like, I feel like more often than not, your decision to do something is like has like four different specific things, not like four specifically, but like multiple specific things that like kind of path that lead you to the same 
result like the same end result i guess oh, that's true um, it's like choose your own adventure yeah but like at the end it was kind of like the same you were gonna end up in the same spot anyway for like a multitude of different reasons mm. so like for me there was like a couple of things that happened all within the like same span of time and all of them the answer was like start streaming <laughs> <laughs> so for me um i was working uh retail and i was also i'm a florist by trade so i went to school for floral design um and i was working at a flower shop i was working at like a wedding boutique yeah i remember you talking um, about this mm, so cool and and uh both of those jobs are considered like luxury services like retail mm. and and floral design so um when you know life got crazy um in 20 was that 2020 was that when was yeah, that yeah like 2020 it was literally yeah. the start of um, 2020 pretty much yeah so when, when things went that happened um <laughs> when everybody transitioned to being at home i got laid off of both of my jobs uh... um and so i was home 24 7 playing animal crossing and watching disney plus and not really <sighs> doing anything with my life um and at that time like prior to everything shutting down i had also been like selling my jewelry like popping up at markets and stuff like that um and i missed i missed going to events and i missed seeing people and and working and like being creative because two of my jobs at that time two out of three were like creative outlets for me right so mm. i was just kind of really sad that i had no projects to work on um and then I started watching a lot of um, Animal Crossing content creators because I was also playing a lot of Animal Crossing and um, I was also deep in the like Animal Crossing Instagram community. Ah. Um, so I had made a lot of friends there and I saw that some people were starting to like move over to Twitch um, because they were playing it so much anyway, like might as well just, you know, record while you're <laughs> doing that too. Um, so I had been watching people... Um, do a lot of Animal Crossing content over on Twitch. So I was already familiar with the platform and I was already familiar with streamers and like my friend Montana. She is uh was a Twitch partner. She's a retired streamer now, so I she see. does not stream anymore. But um her username was Blabbies and she was one of my friends that I would go on her stream often, like through Discord calls as a guest and we would play Animal Crossing together. Mm. Um and so that was something that I was like, oh like this is really fun. Like I might be interested in this. Um, and then separately at the same time, <laughs> in another like part of my life, um, during uh, the shutdown, I also started cosplaying a lot more because I had time for it. Ah, I um, remember. And so, yeah, and so I was cosplaying a lot and having a lot of fun with that um, and like really deep into cosplayer TikTok. Ooh. Um, and I was doing TikTok lives and I was like already basically essentially streaming just like as a cosplayer. Um, but uh, eventually I decided that TikTok as a platform was like not really one that I wanted to pursue being live on anymore mm. as a face cam streamer because people are weird. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was like, hey, um, all of my people over on TikTok, I am considering moving over to Twitch. And then also all of my friends who are in the Animal Crossing community were like, hey, Teeny, you should be on Twitch. And I was like, okay. And so it was Let's like multiple it. things that happened all at once that I was like, okay, this is a good idea. Like I should just move over to Twitch. Um, so I did and I started as a face cam streamer and I was a face cam streamer for six months hmm. um, and I had full intentions of only streaming Animal Crossing um, <laughs> because that was like the vibe um, right. but then the minute I got a PC I downloaded Genshin oh. <laughs> so, and then I only streamed Genshin for like six months there you go <laughs> probably longer than that um, but uh, yeah the Genshin Nation attacked yeah they really did so um, yeah, I was pretty much exclusively streaming Genshin for, like, the beginning of my streaming journey. Um, I also, like, at that time was, like, very confused about the kind of content that I wanted to make because mm. I had a friend in high school 
who also like I met up with her shortly after I started streaming. Oh yeah. Um uh like reconnected with her and she was like, Hello, um I see that you've been posting on like your social media that you stream now. Ooh. Um, and like I don't post about it, but I'm a full time streamer. And like <gasps> if you want we should get coffee and we should talk about this. And I was like, Oh, okay. And so we met up and we started talking about it. And that was like really nice and eye opening. But the way that she ran her community she was kind of really pushing me to do that as well oh. um, and it just wasn't really something that I like jived with it's a part of the face cam streaming community that I don't super love where oh. you are essentially very vague about like if you're in a relationship and like kind of banking on the idea that like men will give you money if you are a pretty female presenting person on the internet oh, and it's like it's a very that's, strange kind that's of a messy culture. corner it's a very to be strange in kind of culture that mm. exists in the face cam streaming community i didn't know that, that was a doesn't, thing yeah it's like it's just a way that people run their community where they get a lot of money and that's really great and like go for it girl boss but like it was not something that i was super interested in i didn't like calling dandy my roommate i didn't like having to pretend to flirt with people because I was told that that would make me oh, more no. money. Like, it was just like a weird vibe. Oh no. And that was when I found VTubing. Wow. And I was like, like when I saw the VTubers, I was like, oh, like this is amazing. <laughs> like this right. sounds so much nicer. And also I feel like people will want to stay and watch me because they like my personality and they think that I'm funny, not because they're using Twitch as some sort of silly little dating app. <laughs> That's true. I mean, people still so, kind of, yeah, pe people do true. that with VTubers too, but <laughs> that aside. People do that with VTubers too, but we, at the same time, you, you have know. a level of separation mm -hmm. with VTubing that you don't get from just being like a regular face cam streamer. So I don't know. I feel like at this point in time, if someone were to come in and be like, hello pretty lady go on a date with me i would be like i'm literally anime haha and then it would just you <laughs> yeah know, like, <laughs> you can kind you know of I mean? like it's like it's a shield deflective. <laughs> yeah it's yeah, an extra sure. it's an extra layer of fun and and also like personal protection yes you know yeah absolutely <laughs> and i just i found that like when i switched over to vtubing my community was like so much more like I don't know respectful and like also they loved like VTubers in a way that was different from watching face cam streamers because VTubing takes so much from idol culture which I thought was really interesting of yeah. the idea of like of like truly like you're a fan of this person you know like it like really you're hmm. just a f like you're a fan and you and there's like a different amount of boundary I don't know it's just it's so different than it's different. The, kind of the other side of Twitch that I had experienced. So I definitely have like such a deeply rooted love for the VTuber community because of yeah. how open and and kind everyone was to me when I moved over, which also makes me very protective over the VTuber community. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, I see. I don't know. I it's it being a VTuber means like so much to me hmm. and I feel like I express it often but I like don't know how to like I'm like you guys you don't get it <laughs> like, like I love being a VTuber so much no so. I I feel that too it's like a very deeply rooted passion for this kind of content creation because without mm. VTubing I don't I genuinely don't think I would have ever streamed yeah. If if not for if not for me becoming very very interested in life like live 2D models and character design, mm -hmm. um, also I think I forgot to mention this, but in my day to day work I don't really or I didn't get to draw like anime, and so, mm -hmm. but but the reason why I first started drawing ten years ago was because I liked manga. Right. So so you see how it's kind of yeah. full circle where now I'm drawing yeah. anime girls again and that was kind yeah. of like a full circle moment for me where I was like okay just kidding I can I can do what I want. I can yeah. actually do what I want and there's yeah. there's potential for this just to become like a permanent part of my life where I can yes. do what I want. I can draw what I want for myself and it was this like huge emotional thing because <laughs> I was like oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 
I can actually yeah. draw like the cute things I really really like. I can draw in the style that feels natural and fun to me. I can I can also become my OC. <laughs> yeah. It's I can yeah, OC. I can and I can basically I mean I talk about this and mint is literally just me like that. Yeah. I don't play a character either, you know? Yeah. I'll be like hee hee baker bread, but like I do really like bread, although I can't yes. quite bake very yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. Um I mean that's in the lore too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh for me it just became such a moment of like yeah i think this the, all of my interests are meeting converging at one point and that point is youtubing because yes. i also do yeah. enjoy idol culture like not that i've followed it closely but i just enjoy the togetherness that being in yeah. like a community brings um you know there's yeah <laughs> i think people I think tend to look just... at i don't know Oh, go for specifically it. Specifically, the part of idol culture that I'm like referencing is like, it's when people see like, I don't know, when people see people who are streamers who are like face cam streamers, because they see like a real person, the boundaries that you have to set need to be so much more harsh. And I think uh -huh. it's because it's like, it's like your VTuber model just in general is like a boundary already, right? So yeah, I don't know. It's just very different. And so the part of idol culture that I'm referencing specifically is that people kind of, not that they don't think that you're a person because they do, <laughs> but like it's more so like Hopefully. I'm genuinely just like a fan of this being that's on my screen. You know what I mean? It's there not is like, that. <laughs> it's and, like it's different. <laughs> and then it becomes fun because I can be my own fan yeah. too. I can be parasocial yeah. with myself. I know. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey. I opened up VTube Studio before starting my stream and I'm like, oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> I know, it's so true. Like, it's so oh, funny. Oh Just for a while, I'm like, hi. Like, wow, you're already dressed. Your lashes are done. Like, okay, <laughs> your hair is combed. I don't have to do anything. I'm, si <laughs> I'm sitting so here in my little PJs and a robe right now. Yep. Real and true. Um, <laughs> yep. Mood. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's like, I take care of myself, but I didn't, I already knew I was never someone that would want to go through the steps of readying myself for a camera, if that makes sense. Like mm. the lighting, everything that comes with face tubing. I mean, it's I also so didn't want people work. to be weird. I didn't want people to be weird with my fl yeah. flesh mech. That's something that I've like, yeah. even if they're yeah. like complimenting me, I'm just like, please don't be creepy. Please don't be creepy. Oh my God, please yeah, don't be creepy. And I, I let it happen for so long oh, and no. let myself be so uncomfortable and was like, I might just like not stream at all because this is not a vibe. So when I found VTubing, I was like, it was literally like the God rays. And I was like, wow, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Ascending so. into VTuberdom. Yeah. I'm really but, happy um, that you were able to continue like your passion for streaming because of it. Yeah, I love it so much. And I also don't know if I ever would have been able to make it like a full time thing if I had not found mm. VTubing and like become so passionate about it. I think you yeah. can tell when people when people are passionate about things, it's more likely that they'll be able to like make it there. Not that VTubing is my life's work, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's you know? a culmination of a lot of things that you've mm -hmm. put work into, though, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. And also, VTubing, I do agree. Like, your personality... I don't know. I feel like your personality shines more. I know yes. it's funny saying that. Like, I mean, again, people that stream with webcams, equally valid content creators. It's just a little different. Mm -hmm. It's just a little different. It's they have just, to deal with it's different, different things. And And... And I don't think that I had the resilience to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, also, like, even now, like, sometimes I'll just see, you know, not that I see too much stuff, like, throughout my algorithms that's, like, general Twitch news or whatnot. But, like, whenever I see a clip or anything about a streamer that presents as a woman or is very feminine, regardless, of who they are there's always people that hound them for being yes. successful because they're yes. they're pretty in quotes yes. they're successful because of how they look not because they worked really hard to like get sponsorships because they worked really hard mm -hmm. to build a community and make mm -hmm. good entertaining content um there's like literally it's... always 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 people like so crazy. I don't know. And also, it made me so, these, ah, 
I think yeah. upset. And these <laughs> these same people are also the people that are like, oh, you're just a VTuber because you're probably ugly on the other side. And they're just That's like, just silly. <laughs> it makes me so mad. It's very silly. Yeah. But like, it's the kind of unfortunate reality that I knew that streaming with a face cam would mean that any amount of, no matter how like hard you work, no matter how much success you have, people will always chalk it up to being something else. You know what I mean? Yes. So you can just ignore yep. that. <laughs> it's it's just it's <laughs> just outside noise and you can ignore it. But what I what I knew that I wanted to avoid was anything that had to do with my my personal identity, you know? That's so I fair. like being able to turn off the screens and be comfortable just like with myself. <laughs> There's a comfort in in anonymity and also mm -hmm. like having a layer of separation between your online spaces and your real spaces. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, if I streamed the face cam, I would feel so awkward if like someone I knew <laughs> found me. That's the thing. Yeah. Being a very big introvert and like, I just, I don't know if I could allow my real personality to like shine through as much <laughs> if I wasn't That's a VTuber. Because <laughs> I can That's say fair. whatever I like. I genuinely say whatever's on my mind because I'm a streamer. I can, like, or I'm a streamer that's a VTuber. I feel extra comfortable. You know, mm. with the with the anim 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 like what's happening like i literally called my mom the other day and i was like i, I finished planning my debut mom are you so that's excited so for me and she was cute. like i don't know what that means but i'm so happy that's so, <laughs> so cute i and i literally when i left my retail job um mm -hmm. when i was like yeah i think i have to put in my notice because i think i'm gonna go back to school my manager was like yeah and you're making like uh, enough to support yourself doing your content creation right so you should pursue that and i was like oh my god like <laughs> so i don't know it's so That's funny amazing. That I, I feel like i feel like i understand why people don't want to share and i think it's totally valid mm. if they don't want to for their comfort but i think as someone who has told everyone around them, um, it's not as scary as you think it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I think my my main concern is people I know coming in and then like just like being I, aware I, that they are watching you. Being being aware that potentially someone that I don't know very well, but they just like know mm. who I am is watching me is a little uncomfortable. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. I will shatter their worldview of the mm. person that they think I am, essentially. Which, mm. I mean, again, and not that it matters, but it would just be kind of awkward. It's like one of those things that I personally feel awkward about, and I know that it's a me mm. thing. <laughs> I know I that it's 100% a me thing. thing. I, think, I think a lot of people share the, <laughs> share the same sentiment. <laughs> it's an us thing, then. Valid. Me and all those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're not alone. Yeah, I just I just like being myself. I like being like feeling like I'm in a safe space, and that's kind of yes. what I built. That's important. <laughs> it's really important for me to like maintain mm -hmm. maintain this. Yeah, yeah. And streaming makes me so happy, and I'm glad that it makes Good. you happy because then we can meet Yay. and have a really cool and awesome and swell time. <laughs> True. Yes. Let's go. And I'm sure Chat can agree. VTubers, lovely. VTubers bring people together. VTubers are just fun. <laughs> Literally without VTubing, I would not, like half of my wedding guests would not be coming. Like it's kind of crazy. And like, <laughs> literally like half of my wedding party is other vtubers <laughs> so like that's I don't, awesome uh, it's kind of crazy to think like if i had never ventured into this like creative field like i would just wouldn't have met these people it's it's wild to think about <laughs> wow that's good though that's good mm. 
I feel like, um, yeah, the people I've met through VTubing, I've met so many people that I would have never met under any other circumstances, and I've talked about it before. <laughs> people in chat, too, yeah. it's like, oh my goodness, these people that are in completely different time zones but miraculously can make it into my streams, all of a sudden we get to bond over really cool stuff, and we get to have yeah. little inside jokes, and we get to make memories as a whole community, and yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's great. And I've like I've literally watched as people in my chat and I obviously take absolutely no credit for this because it's all them, but like I've literally watched people in my chat like go from strangers to befriending each other and like hanging yeah. out like absolutely unbeknownst to me. So I'm like, "Oh my yes. goodness, that's awesome. I like yeah, seeing it. I I've like to see it." <laughs> I've watched like chatters become streamers, become streamers who are dating each other, become like it's so crazy. Like <laughs> That's watching true. the series of events like unfold around me, and like their experiences would not have happened if like if like you hadn't crossed paths with them, or like you know what I mean. Yeah, like it's yeah, so yeah. interesting to see. <laughs> it's it's like a butterfly effect. Yeah, you know, absolutely. the split second you decide, oh yeah, VW is pretty cool. Let's give this a try, and then boom. Yep. <laughs> slowly, slowly, things build up, things yep. ripple, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's a wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful thing. <laughs> Some of my like most like cherished memories are from going on trips like into the United States of America to see my tuber friends in Aww. person, and like. I, on the flights there, have been, like, so emotional because I've been like, oh my god, this never would have happened if I hadn't decided to stream, blah, 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 blah. Right? So, like, <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to convention season as well. It'll be my first time yes. meeting some people. Are you going to some cons this um, year I'm definitely doing AX and Anime <laughs> NYC. Mm. And chat, don't get jealous, but I'm gonna be living with a VTuber friend. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna Let's be hanging go. out. We're gonna be hanging out for like extended period of time, like before and after the con, essentially. Um, love that. I mean, and my love, a recent VTuber and Alexis. Oh, I love we that. we love. Yeah, I love them, and and it's. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm excited for <laughs> the exact same reason. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> We're talking about cons. I'm going to one tomorrow. Ooh, enjoy. Um, but you said you were going to Ofkai, right, Teeny? Because I, yes. I need to. I need to see if I'm even able to like have the time <laughs> to make it to uh, Ofkai. I want to go so badly to Ofkai. Yes. At first, I was like, okay, you know, like maybe, maybe just like Anime Expo and ANYC is okay. Like Ofkai another year. I know Ofkai is VTuber specific, and then. Yeah. I see so many people I like really want to meet going to yeah. Afghan, including you now. My goodness. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, uh, it, initially, the plan was that like I applied to table and I also applied to mm. um, to guest at mm. Afghan. Um, but you know they have only a small amount of of, of room. They can't yeah. say yes to everybody. So mm -hmm. um, I was declined however i have friends that live in california um mm. and i wanted to see them anyway so i oh, was like awesome. you know what i'm just gonna go regardless um and then it turned out that like one of my mods was also like he said that he would come drive make the nice. drive to come see me or like grab a flight or whatever um and uh Clover is also like in that area, so Clover is going to be there too. Oh my gosh, Clover is going to be there too. Yeah, Goodness gracious. Yeah. So many people, um, so many people I want to say hi to. The minute I was like decided on it, I made a group chat and I was like, Maya, Clover, <laughs> we're, we're going. And they were like, okay. <laughs> so exciting. See, I do, I do want to meet the three of you guys sometime. Yes. I don't know. I like watching all your streams. And then, and then we can and then we can go for sushi. Oh my goodness. Maybe don't can tempt, we? don't tempt me. It would be so good. I really have to see if I'm uh like available. If I'm available, if I can make this trip. Especially also because I've already I've already planned and like bought con tickets for the other two conventions I know I'm yes. doing for sure so it's just like trying to be a little responsible just like just a little responsible but at the I same understand. time I'm like oh my goodness <laughs> yeah I totally oh my get goodness it. I, there are things to see I, it's one of those things because I also 
<laughs> because I'm a full-time streamer, there's a lot of things that I'm able to write off on my taxes, and I was like, <laughs> VTuber con, check mark. <laughs> oh, snap. Maybe so. Maybe I should um, remember my... my... <laughs> The dates I'm taking Arisa and Lexus on, the little the food dates, um, those yeah. are those are expenditures. Those are business meetings. Yes. Those are VTuber those business, are business meetings. Us <laughs> <expenses. Yep. laughs> uh, so eating hot pot together I... is actually a VTuber business meeting. Um, yes, this mm -hmm. is true. It's I literally sometimes I'll text my accountant and I'll be like, uh, "Hello, Wendy, are Pokemon cards a business expense?" And she's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon card unboxing stream. That's yes. for content. As that is a streaming it, expense. As long <laughs> as it's on stream, yes, absolutely. That is incredible. That is wonderful. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> I gotta think of things to write off as well because um now that I run a store. <laughs> yes. Now that I kind of just run a store by myself and I yes. have um big printer and PO box and yes. um like a cricket machine, all of those things. Yes. <laughs> if you ever have any questions about that stuff, you can let me know because oh, yeah. I've officially been like declaring myself as self employed for like Two years now, I believe. Oh my gosh. So, I will be sure to hit you up for advice if I ever mm -hmm. need. Thank you, thank yeah. you. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my, t my taxes have gotten more complicated since VTubing, of course. Yeah. If they weren't already complicated from freelancing. Yes. <laughs> they are now more complicated because... Yes. Yeah. Because technically, technically, I am also my own boss when it comes to VTubing. Yeah. And so this is why also, like when I do my visual design stuff, I also run it under the same name because then it's just easier for uh, like end of year purposes. I Not see. specifically that I would love for them to be associated like uh, specifically, but because it just makes my life easier when it comes to like the the funny government side of things. <laughs> so, so it's like when you take commissions for like the overlays or like graphic design things? It's yeah. all teeny tanuki. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. all under the teeny tanuki business. Yep. Yep. I think if I ever took commissions, it would just merge right into my mm -hmm. my streaming and shop stuff. <laughs> yep. I can't even imagine what taxes are like in those professions. It's complicated. It's an adventure. It's a fun it's little a, maze. <laughs> it's especially an adventure for me because I'm Canadian. So Ooh. all of the all of the t uh, like tax forms that I get from Twitch are all American. Oh, so stop! That's right. Oh my goodness. I literally had to like contact an accountant and hire a personal accountant because I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do <laughs> with these foreign forms. There's that's no, scary. They don't exist here. Foreign forms are yeah. very scary. <laughs> also, Yo. states, states taxes are, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, U.S. It's, U.S. It's forms are complex well, enough. Yeah, it's weird because I'm like I I get given these forms that are like here's the foreign income that you've made, um, but it's not anything to do with like any taxes that I've paid because legally I cannot pay taxes to a country that I do not live in. Oh. So it's just like it's very weird, <laughs> Compli <laughs> complicated. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, uh, good luck everyone with your taxes. I hope I didn't scare Happy anyone. But, but yeah, yeah, it's March, March 15th uh, today, yep. so, you know, just, just, yeah, stay on top of it. You got just this. A, just a friendly reminder. This is a friendly reminder for myself as well. <laughs> April's going to be crazy. April's going mm -hmm. to be absolutely crazy for me. Possibly May too, <laughs> especially if I decide that I want to squeeze an off -cover. Yeah. <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> Yippee! You did them last night. Congratulations! <laughs> Good Let's job go. being on top of things. You're doing them tomorrow. Let's go drinking Wednesday. Oh, Lima's like early too. Goodness gracious! You too, Tenken. Wow. Chats on top of things. Good, 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 good for you guys. <laughs> good life skills. Good for you guys. I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Also, Little Dino asked us, "How are you? How's your day going?" Oh, this is so cute. Hi, Sarah. Um, <laughs> day, day, good. <laughs> day good. 
Yeah, I'm still, I'm a little sick, so I'm like recovering from my cold that <gasps> I had this week. Um, but I'm feeling mostly back to normal. Um, and I'm excited for the show and tell stream that I have later. Yeah. And I'm happy that I got to spend time with, with Mint Mai. <gasps> Yay! Yay! What time are you show and telling, by the way? It was supposed to, um, I scheduled it for five, but I knew this was going to take longer. So whenever I'm done here, basically. Okay. Wait, what time is it now where you are? It's 5.30 for me, but everybody <gasps> ah. in my server knows that I'm here. So oh, whenever... okay, okay. <laughs> so whenever I'm done here, I'll just scoot over to my... Oh my goodness. I should have, I should have double checked the schedule. Um, let me know when no, you're scooting okay. over to set up because then I'll, I'll stay online and do some I, casual probably... just chatting for no particular reason. <laughs> I'm probably good to chat for another like half an hour if you're yeah if that sounds good, good. <laughs> those okay. talks tend to go for a good three hours um but yeah mm. don't be afraid to let me know when when your time is is <laughs> when you're t I don't want to say when your time is up when your time here <laughs> is expiring no <laughs> yes when when uh, you're <laughs> when you need to follow through your next plan okay Oh, teeny. <laughs> You're doing your best. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I, I've talked a little bit about it with my community, but the it's like miraculous that I'm squeezing in streams. My usual three to four yes. streams a week these these days. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's I have I have balance when you got a lot going um, on. Huh? <laughs> it's a hard balance when you have a lot going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes my brain checks out, but um, hopefully, this hopefully, I have like a really, essentially a very big thing to deliver mm. in April, so I'm like working every day yeah, <laughs> to make sure that That's everything okay. turns out the way I need it to and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically, it's, it's yeah. overdrive time. It's overdrive time. But yeah. I also didn't want to be like, hey, guys, I need to take a two-month break. We're not doing that. So yes. <laughs> instead, I yeah. just have been scheduling, like, really comfy, comfy streams. Um, yeah. Oop, April 19th. <laughs> April 19th is spring teeny. I am not cooking for that. <laughs> I'm talking more about, like, IRL work, actually. It's hilarious. It works out that way. <laughs> So I'm doing that, and then I'm also actually planning a couple surprises for my birthday in April, which is... My birthday is on, on April 26th, so it's actually a week after Spring Teeny. Coincidence! I think not. Let's go! <laughs> we'll have an awesome month. But yeah, I'm yeah. just excited to finish the things that I need to finish, as well as, you know, a little bit of VTuber surprises as a little... little... I wanted to do... A bit of celebrating for my birthday despite all the work yeah, stuff so of yeah course. we'll see <laughs> but I, I definitely i didn't want to take a hiatus even though that might be the responsible thing to do i i don't think i could <laughs> i genuinely don't think yeah. i could streaming has become too big of a part of my routine to like yes. really put to the side <laughs> yeah i understand we'll, we'll see we'll see <laughs> We'll see what happens. Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. It's. I, I think it's nice to have. It might be hard to juggle both, but I'd rather juggle them than not do one or the other. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I totally understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess at this point in time. Hmm. I don't want to jinx myself or anything, but if I could, I would love to shift to doing even more VTubing stuff. But mm. I just don't know if it's possible. Eh? Quit your job. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see, we'll see about that, Teeny. <laughs> what happened? I'm such an advocate for. I'm so... <laughs> Kyle. <Question> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> I'm such an advocate for quit your job. Um, and it's kind of um, bad because I also understand that it's not like uh, uh, sustainable. For it's not a something lot of that you can just do. But all of my <laughs> friends that are artists who tell me how they wish that they had time for more art. I just am such a big like quit your job, quit your job, quit your job, mm. quit your job because <laughs> if you love it enough, you will find a way. 
Pretty much. I am I am a big believer of luck favors people that are passionate and also prepared. So, yeah, if you really like something and you're doing it consistently, there's got to be a way to make it work. <laughs> I, I would like to believe in that, but sometimes you're just, it just doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes you can't, yes. you can't drop everything, but, um, yeah. Oh, I'd I'm say... so sorry. <laughs> My my uh, belf, my husband is also sick and needs tissues. I'm gonna be so fast. Oh my gosh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> be well, Dandy. <laughs> what did my keyboard just do? Le mm, dead key. <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to crack a really funny like 2010s joke. You know when when everything had le in front of it, le chat. The streamer. <laughs> Le Poggers. <laughs> Does anyone that was know what such I'm a talking weird about? Weird time in oh, our history. Oh my gosh, you heard me talking about that. I'm so sorry. Le Epic uh, yeah, Twitch I have stream. <laughs> oh, okay. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, thank you for the water. Thank you for the water. It's little as Dino. Mm. Do pardon me if I caught this incorrectly, but is it Sarah who's given us the water and stretch redeems? Mm. Yeah. Awesome. I try to remember sometimes if people have a name that they prefer that's not their, their Twitch username related, but yeah. <laughs> that was a funny time, though. There's also after that was mustache phase. Oh. Was it after? <sighs> was it really? I think mustaches were later than the le and troll face jokes. If I remember correctly, but also I, I, I think about it sometimes. I'm like, okay, so where are the people that tattooed mustaches on their index fingers? Like, where are they now? Where are, <laughs> where are, they? are they now? What are they doing with their lives? Did tattoo removal salons just like make a lot of money the year after? Like, what happened? Yes. <laughs> Confirmed. I mustache you a question. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mustache patterns on shirts. Mustache everywhere. Michael Jackson had one, that's why he wore the glove. No way! Michael Jackson was way before any of that, right? Hmm. Hmm. feel like the mustache meme is like prehistoric. At this at this point, I think about it. I think about it when I think of interesting... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> we're doing this. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting that we say it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a fad, you know, it's so, it's so over. It's, it's not around <laughs> we're so, anymore. We're so we're we're so back. <laughs> <laughs> we're so back. Hey guys, no, nothing's going on. Is it e yeah. is it Iva Evug? Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Bring it Welcome back. Welcome back, mustache meme. <laughs> Do you think Bring okay? back the mustache craze in twenty twenty four. What if I have a really tiny one? <laughs> I like that it moves when I talk a lot. Mm. <laughs> Let me get it like. We have like dress. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like a sad little mustache. <laughs> now you can go to Paris. It's practically nose hairs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> or like a very like a very like like now I'm senshi. Dungeon meshy senshi. Wow. This is a great look for you. Oh yeah. Mm. I like that you can see my mouth. At the bottom, like new, just just a little bit. New toggle for your for your next outfit is the finger mustache. <gasps> Arm toggle. Yeah. Okay, I can't really do it, but I can. Let me see. I can do this, and then like, <laughs> like you see that? Like I got the mustache <laughs> finger tat. <laughs> Amazing. Hey! <laughs> you survived early Tumblr. There you go. Yeah. 
What were mustaches? <laughs> Would you say they were like 2013 aligned? I think so. I feel like they weren't. Oh, I'm accidentally moving my whole model. I feel like they were later than the later than the times when years had double zeros in them. Maybe. Hmm. 2012. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> Teamy, I placed my mustache placement perfect. Look at it move. Oh my god. <laughs> There's that's no perfect. way. That's that's so good. <laughs> I didn't mean to clip it to my lip line art like that, but this is amazing. Wow. That was a once in a lifetime opportunity and he did it. <laughs> Not even intentionally. That's incredible. I'm going to have to do this every other time now. The expectations. Beautiful. <laughs> we should take a we should take a screenshot of this. So we should. We can immortalize it forever. Wait, I got it. I got it. Uh Okay. <gasps> Strike a pose. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh, <laughs> did we get it? Beautiful. I got a transparent screenshot too from within VTube Studio. Love it. <laughs> I'll send it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, these are so fun. It really just is like, hey chat, do you want to come here and just sit along as as we have a coffee chat? <laughs> yes. It's great. It's, it's wonderful. My, it's my <gasps> dad. That's true. Stun. Long time no see. We've missed you. You're, You've you're grown so great, well. <laughs> Get in here. Your dads with boob booba windows have something to say. <laughs> I'm I'm very proud of you. You're doing wonderfully. Oh, I got the deep voice redeem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a good eye. Thanks. A oh, good thing I'm seeing it just now. Son, son. Your father and I would like to have a would like to have a conversation with you. We'd like to talk about your future and your achievements. Um to which I may say uh, we're very proud of you. Keep, keep keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. I I also have a uh, a question. For you. <clears throat> uh, are you winning, son? Are, are you winning, son? Why do I sound like a grandpa? <laughs> we're, I think we're sounding older with like every line. It's like, are you winning, son? And then it's, are you winning, son? Are, are you winning, son? Your father's getting older by the second. It's a <laughs> ra rapid aging place. Yeah, please tell me. Life? Uh, Flashing before my eyes. Uh, please <laughs> promise me that you won't bottom frag in Valorant before I go. <laughs> <laughs> please win, son. For me, I'm getting old. And then that's the beginning of Stardew Valley. <laughs> Mint Mai dies on her deathbed with a letter in her hand, and then there you go. That's when Stardew Valley <laughs> happens. <laughs> And then you inherit the bakery. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> no. Wait, you know, I, I didn't realize. Um, I didn't know that your granddad is dead in Stardew Valley. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I literally just found out the other day, like watching. I what? I watched. Wait, but, I watched a but YouTube you video. Think? But what do you think inheriting means, Min? <laughs> okay, but like he wrote me the letter and everything ahead of time, so I thought that he was alive and just retiring from the ranch. Uh, I thought that he was moving. Oh, Cause like there's the, the whole nice picture spot. of him. But the picture of him was him like peacefully laying in bed by like a fireplace or something. So, <laughs> so I literally, I literally thought that like he was like, peacefully like living in like a you know living in a cottage like somewhere else that's him what Sandra, tell, <laughs> tell me that's not real tell me that's actually not real he wrote that to you when you were a kid how was i supposed to know that how was i supposed to know that i i i actually got so lost in the plot i didn't know that he died and and he gave you his his farm after he died because now I have so many feelings. Uh, uh. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Out of the feelings. Are there any more questions on the <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Form? Oh man. Um, very important question from Kyle. Um, okay. bo bo booba cake or thighs? <laughs> oh, yes. 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 <laughs> um, yes. Mm. I said this already at the beginning of, of stream, um, but Springtini has one beauty mark on boob, one <sighs> beauty mark on thigh, one beauty mark on ass. So, yes. <laughs> Yes. All right. One yeah. of each. I'll, I'll I'll take one of each, waiter. I'll I'll take them all. I'll, I'll take, take one of lot. each. <laughs> listen, listen. You guys listen. keep calling Spring Teeny Springy, and you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can see that. No way. That's so funny. Is I love that. Thank you, Teenies pretty. community, for teaching me. Uh. They kept calling the teeny merch Turch, and I, I just stopped. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> see, see, this is why, this is why you name yourself like Meanie instead, because because then uh, it has to be merch. Uh, they can't do it's that just with like me. The, it's the it's the clover effect because <laughs> everybody adds like the CL in front of everything. Ah. Dang, that's amazing. I think that's really funny. <laughs> it's very cute though. It's endearing, you know. Currently, uh, Clover has been doing like retro streams on this mm -hmm. uh, TV asset oh, that yeah. they made, and uh, it says on the front of it uh, instead of Toshiba, it says Kloshiba. Oh my gosh! It's good. 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 <laughs> that's excellent. <laughs> Clerchandise. Turchandise. Yeah. Yep. I love it. It's Easy excellent. That way. <laughs> it, it, it is that way. What about what about you though? Are you um, are you cake? Are you mm, booba? Um um. When it comes to art, <laughs> mm. it's it's it, it, I, I it's it's a hard it's a hard decision. It's a hard hard decision. But I think I probably narrow it down to booba or thighs. And then between those two, I like re I like rendering booba more, so that's my choice. I that's mean, I, the first time I was ever posed this question, I was very I was still a PNG, you know, no jiggle physics or anything. But yeah. I was like, huh? <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. I wasn't that deep in the VTuber community to know that people would just ask you this. Like, it's an essential question, and so yes. and so I was so lost, and I was like, can't I pick both? And it's like that's a cop out answer, and I'm like, what? But I basically <laughs> like both equally. But yeah, I would I would pick Booba. Yeah, they're they're mm. the most fun to paint. I'm gonna be it real. Your honor. They're they're so soft and wonderful to to draw. Bahangas. Mhm. Mm Small ones too. Amazing. All Boobas. Flat is justice. All yes. Boobas are very beautiful. So yes. <laughs> Ta da. <laughs> Anywho, saying this with mustaches just like feels even funnier. Just I like, know. oh yes, we're like twiddling the edges of our mustache hairs, being like, hmm, we're connoisseurs in this subject, actually. We're very established gentlemen. I would like to know uh, uh, boobs or butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> Mamma mia. I love being Mario. <laughs> it's me, <Mia>, Mario. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch, Sarah. Stretch. Needing lots of good stretch. Let's see. Tankan wants to know, not sure if this has already got asked. I don't think this got asked yet, so you're A-OK. -okay. Thank you very much for submitting a question. Are there any VTubers that inspired you and or you look up to? Oof. Ah. <laughs> Big question. Uh, so many. The list I goes on and on. I enjoyer. Yeah, yeah me too. Um, but... Some of the tubers that inspired um, Spring Teeny were um, Maya and Spring Bow um, and uh, just like a lot of the Hoduse models in general, the way that their like clothing is drawn, I took a lot of inspiration from because it's mm. very pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then a lot of the other aspects that I take inspiration from are like obviously my friends. So Mint Mai, I take a lot of inspo from. <laughs> from Clover and Ari, I take a lot of inspo. Um, and then my Oshi, my Kami Oshi Biscotti from V Form Your Eye, who is now officially graduated. But mm. uh, lots of lots of inspo there. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <gasps> Amazing. That's a good. That's mm. solid list. Um, for yeah, me, solid list. <laughs> For me, I guess it just extends very far because there's a many there's many big VTubers that I won't get to name in one breath, essentially, who yes. even brought me here in the first place and like inspired me to start because their clips were cute and funny and I was able to learn about VTubers through them. Um, but I'd say like my Kami Oshis are Ichimaya and Elvira, like those two streamers yeah. vtubers um it's yeah not not even a not even a question for me to just support them forever like i think all yeah. the vtubers i watch i'm like yeah i'm totally supporting them forever and arisa vtuber as well kami kamioshi you know <laughs> my wife <laughs> <laughs> like yeah arisa is very very in very dear to my heart as well um and so I will always, I will always adore them. And then there's so many VTuber friends as well who continue to inspire me and like make me so happy that I even started on this journey. So yeah, teeny alpha rookie. I like love <laughs> so many people. I can't list everyone again, but there's like so, there's just so many of you who have been so sweet and kind that I love very much. And um, Raggy Chifon, I talked about Raggy Chifon, who's so, so, so sweet and we, we we get to chat a bit and it's like, oh my goodness, I, I love I love talking to Raggy and Raggy's work really inspires me too. Um, I think a lot of literal artists, like people that aren't even VTubers, but instead VTuber artists yes. inspire me equally. Yeah, people as... who are in the in the VTuber <laughs> space, but who aren't especially VTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like they're on the creating side because that's something that I know I want to do and I think that they that have inspired me lots to actually try doing that alongside yeah. being a VTuber. Very that for um, me also. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Drinky Wednesday, I didn't know that. That's so special. <laughs> Ghostlings for life. Um, but also on like a, I guess, if it's we're talking VTubers that a lot of people um, might have seen on YouTube before, other places, um, Bao's uh, like pretty much the first person I knew that was a VTuber, besides Kizuna Ai. <laughs> When Kazuna I came out, I like saw articles and videos about it. And I was like, oh cool. But Bao was someone I was a fan of that became a VTuber, so that uh, sparked interest. Um, Cinder, I started watching Cinder very very early in my VTubing um, experience, and I love, I love the the stuff that she does. She's so funny. I'm trying to think of like who was the first VTuber that I ever saw. <laughs> And I oh, yeah. think it was Silvervale, I think, because Dandy was on Twitch oh. as like a content consumer a lot ah. earlier than I was. Mm -mm. Um, and I remember Dandy watching Silvervale like way back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this anime? And Dandy was like, it's not an anime. And I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an anime. It's a VTuber. It's a person. Yeah, uh, yeah V Shoujo is definitely some of the first people I saw too, like Iron Mouse very early on. Iron Mouse. Clips of Iron Mouse singing, especially, like, really touched my heart and got me interested in it. Because I love singing, and I never thought I could sing, like, in front of an audience. Um, yeah. Because I thought I'd be too shy, but VTubing has definitely uh, allowed me to shed those nerves, and I've done, like, karaoke streams now. Um, I think I definitely have a deep impression of uh, all the Hollow Live. All of Hollow Live <laughs> English is very deeply rooted in my love for VTubers and idol culture, idol culture, because I mean it's it's different. It's a little different from indie VTubers, but I love yeah. I love how Genmates 
can collab with each other. Or like, I just love how yeah. everyone within Hollow EN or Hollow JP and Hollow ID, like how they can collaborate and form um, these connections on screen that are so awesome to witness. Yeah. And I obviously, obviously, the content that they create is like top tier. It's got, you know, there's there's not only budget, but there's like such dedicated talents. When you when you have such I a prestigious. Yeah. Yeah, when you have such a prestigious um, company and you're bringing people in, like you're you're gonna find people that you you know they they, they definitely pick like really wonderful talents for yeah. just a great variety of all these people that make such good stuff and they make different stuff from each other too as well. So I yes. love them a lot. Yeah, it's really hard to pick I... one hollow Kamiyoshi because there is yeah. yeah. <laughs> I it's definitely hard. got into corporate VTubers like way later than the indie scene. Like mm. I'm just starting to like <laughs> the tip of the iceberg with the with the corporate VTuber scene. But, Fair enough, yeah. Um, big big fan of V4 Mirai as a group. I think they are doing really cool things in terms of like they are corporate but it feels almost like more personable like like it's mostly just a group of indie vtubers that are being managed like it's kind of a different energy than than hmm. what corporate usually is and i kind of love it it's like kind of making a different take on corporate because some of their talents are like like maria she was indie and then they just adopted her ip and now yeah she's corporate and they don't like allow usually most corporates don't allow you to do that so it's interesting to see like what they're what they're doing over there <laughs> i see yeah i think most um com big company vtubers the way it works is because they most of the time they might already have the character design for you um yes. and they, it's it's like a casting call it's like they cast yes. you and so that ip is owned by the company so it's like yes. if you are to retire from that position taking it with you would technically be taking a company asset and yes yeah so that's that's why you basically need to need to rebrand or go back yeah. to a previous sort of activity yeah so of what course. i think is interesting <laughs> with like v4 is that the way that it presents on the outside is that it really seems like they're working with people to make the ideas that they have like real. So I don't know, it's instead of opening up like a casting call to play a part, they're kind of just like, we have the the assets to like to allow you to build whatever character you got going on in your noggin. So <laughs> <laughs> that's really sweet. Yeah. I think I think hopefully we'll start to kind of see more of that because I don't know I think v2 it's hard though v2 or v is also a tough tough industry entertainment's yes. always going to be especially competitive on a company level For where sure. there's so much stuff like because you in, you can invest so much stuff and not get yes. a cent back basically yes so yeah but in the end people do it because they really really like it so yeah that makes me happy we got a final question as well here, and not oh, from Anonymous, an anonymous person. Huh. This is a very interesting question, Timmy. L listen, listen closely. Listen closely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come okay. closer to you. I'm gonna put <clears> my <throat> mustache away. So I'm gonna keep my mustache on. Seriously. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to answer this final, final question seriously. Okay. Okay. The best okay. for last, I suppose. But it was the last question okay. in the form, so this is what determines everything. <clears throat> How much wood would could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh wow. I know it's it's a loaded question. Again, if you if you need to if you need to like grab a sip of water, step back, just really, really cook the answer for a while, I, I understand. Okay, wait, okay, wait, come back. Can you can you whisper it to me? Maybe I'll understand it more. How much wood was chuck chuck wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood was chuck chuck of wood chuck could chuck wood? How much? Um the the voices um a lot smiles <laughs> like a solid answer like how much a lot <laughs> like at least 
four. Ah, Drew already got the answer. A woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Holy shite. That... <laughs> That is the answer. <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much for your question, Anonymous. That is a wonderful way to top everything off. <laughs> Wahoo. Thank you for for having me on. I it's funny because like my head said in in the de in the debut was like Teeny, you should join me here. Um, but then, but then got busy, so I slid into Miss Mint Mai's DMs, and I was like, I want to be on Toast Hawks. Period? Question mark. <laughs> Wonderful. I mean, I knew I wanted to have you on here already since the, since the time I announced this overlay. I was like, Teeny, when are you coming? So true. When are this, you coming? <laughs> it, really, this really Toast Hawks was it was it was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> and for viewers like you <laughs> so true like comment subscribe hey guys welcome to mint my's channel don't forget to smash that like button oh my gosh hit that notification <laughs> hit that notification bell make sure that you get notified of all the mint my content oh my oh my i hope there will be more coming i don't know i just love streaming doesn't I love don't need to think seeing too much. all the shorts that you've been putting out with your oh. little scrunkle model. <laughs> Thank it's you. so funny. The one where you like phase through the floor when someone <laughs> was like do a flip. That one was so good. Putting me in 3D gives me a little extra power. It was just a little yeah, bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I think it makes you a little bit uh, twice as crazy, which I kind of uh. love. <laughs> It, it, it unlocks literally a third dimension of my personality because I think yeah. I am someone that does talk a lot <laughs> um, with also with like flailing arms and physical gags. So being able to pull that off in 3D is fun and I hope I can look more into it. My current living yeah. situation means that 3D streams are pretty like pretty sparse. They're a little bit more rare, yeah. but I think I'll, I'll be able to to do more in the future. <laughs> watching you uh, flail about and then be like oh my god i've been dancing for four hours is so funny <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> i can't stop moving if it's for stream because i'm like okay and i don't want to just sit i'm like that's not fun that's not entertaining but sometimes yeah. i really do have to sit depending it's just so funny it's physically like, tasking also... Also, the little, like, marshmallow models don't have, like, the widest range of movement, right? So you're, it just looks like you're breakdancing in one spot for, like, four hours continuously. It's so funny. <laughs> Can someone, like, speed up my VOD to be, like, one minute long I and just I would love play? to watch the little circular creature just wiggle at high speeds for, like, 20 minutes condensed oh, yeah. of, like, a four-hour VOD. I love my 3D model. Thank you, Eloy. I also love my 3D bakery set. Thank you, Mochi. <laughs> <laughs> Mochi might be lurking. I saw Mochi grab a daily bread, so I was gonna be like, yo, oh, it's Mochi. This is a good place to advertise this. Um, Mochi did some work for Spring Teeny. So um, when the debut happens, you'll probably see some, some Mochi uh, animation stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Mochi work! Woohoo! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Our local bakery staff has infiltrated. Mochi, so talented. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mochi is, uh, yeah. I was saying that, like, you know, when I started this whole VTubing thing, Mochi was very much someone where I was like, Hey, wait a second, you know how to edit videos. <laughs> could, I, could I enlist your help? Like, you literally know how to edit videos professionally for other people, including, like, clips and TikToks or something like that. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do, like, I really want to do this tubing thing. And she was like, yeah, why not? I feel like you're probably suited for it. And then, um... I think Mochi ended up playing, like, a huge, just a huge role in the channel. More, more yeah. than, yeah, more than I initially expected, because it was very much just like, oh yeah, like editing, and then now it's pretty much blown up to a point where it gets to be, certain projects get to be very collaborative experiences, even though I'm doing, like, most of the, the planning and the, the execution as far as, like, streaming goes. Yeah. But Mochi's awesome. Mochi's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Mochi. 
Thank you, Moji, big, for being an awesome turtle. <laughs> big I, Mochi I fan. I, most most likely that Mochi found me from you, but uh, <laughs> sent me a message on Twitter that was like, hello, I want to animate one of your screens for you. And I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, so Mochi animated my, or Mochi animates all my scenes. So, or like yeah. the starting soon, the BRB screens and like the ending screens. Any art that you see of Mint that sort of like has that, Moving, I mean my model too. That's that's currently all Mochi. Um, yeah. But when Mochi was starting to animate the anime girls, I was I was informed. I was like, hey, this is very fun. I'm gonna start asking people if. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I was gonna start asking if if I can make this really cool art move. And I was like, oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I think I might have found. So... That reminds me. I think it's I might have so... found you because of Mochi. Really? Yes, because uh, Mochi sent me... Mochi had... Because, because we work together so much and it's an awesome collaborative yeah. experience, there's a time where I like saw the work in progress of the teeny sitting... It was that first art, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was animated for you by Mochi. And I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, they're cute. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> they cute as that, and yeah. then Mochi was like teeny Taniki. I was like, oh, let me look them up on Twitter, and then I followed you, and the rest is history. It's so now I actually remember what the what the pipeline is. Like, I for all of my mods, whenever they first like start modding for me, I'm always like, okay, tell me the VTuber pipeline. Like, how did you get? How did you get here? What what brought you this way? Tell me your entire like. Because for me, it was like the dang and rompa to anime to 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 tumblr to the animal crossing to vtuber pipeline. <laughs> that is quite the pipeline for yes. me it's anime art to non-anime art to missing anime art and finding and liking games and basically everything just converging yeah. At one spot yes <laughs> everything i like is in one place it's awesome it's awesome it's so epic. And I could bring bread to bread and bunnies and my cat and <laughs> yeah. It's great, it's great. It's been well, thank you for having me. Of course. I am I am looking at the time and I'm like, oh yeah. It's time for Teeny to stream and me for me to in you know, just um uh, <clears throat> exist as a as a baker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll I'll do a I'll do a little outro and to give you some time to set up. Not that it, it um <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I'm not being subtle about this at all, am I? Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, seven. Yeah, see I'll... you guys there. <laughs> yeah, see you guys there. Guys, go go watch Teeny Stream, because, like, why why wouldn't you check out our lovely, lovely guests' stream after you've already gotten to see how fun and how wonderful Teeny is here? <laughs> so Thank why you wouldn't you go? Me. Why wouldn't you go? I'm so grateful. Ah, I'm grateful so for fun. you. I will mm. literally sit here and wait for you to go online. And <laughs> I heart you. Uh, I heart you, you too. To, if you want to play um, Minecraft at any point, please <gasps> yes, let please. me know because I think that yes, that would be please. really fun. Let me let me know the availability. My schedule is a little bit crazy until um yeah like mid mid april ish but i know that it can happen no worry i can I also, absolutely fit in collapse whenever i also want to do probably sometime around my debut i would love to do golf with your friends with a bunch <gasps> of vtubers oh, that i love oh my gosh so, yeah i think that that would be really fun so if I've you want to played. come and golf with me i usually uh do the thing where i play golf with your friends and i drink a funny little drink and it gets kind of crazy so oh, that's funny to join us oh yes i think it would be really fun i would love that i would actually love that i've never played golf with your friends but again if you ever wanna if you ever wanna hit me up for anything i'm more than down an invite from the teeny tanuki i will be there i'll be there in a suit and a tie <laughs> <laughs> and also a little snack, treat it like a potluck that, or something. <laughs> that one meme that's like oh, yeah. me dressing up for my own wedding, <laughs> me dressing up for the teeny tanuki collab. Oh yeah. That's that's me, that's so me. True. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you again so skedaddle. much. Thank you for being here. Here, I'm Thank gonna I'm gonna let your me. model I'm gonna <laughs> do something so corny. 
Sorry, okay. sorry. <clears throat> Teeny, thank you so much for being here today. Have wow, a wonderful rest I'm of your I'm so <laughs> happy that I got to be here. Goodbye, chat. See, and now you're walking you're walking out. Yeah. Now I'm uh, Hold on. I got it. Now I'm leaving. <laughs> now, now, now you're leaving me. No, no, okay. no, no, you're leaving. Uh, okay, okay, goodbye, goodbye, chat. Dude, no, go! Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Teeny Tanuki, guys. Um, the corner of Teeny's sweater is still here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Gone now. Well, well, <laughs> damn. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Gosh, I love Teeny. Alrighty, thank you guys for being here at Toast Talks. I'm gonna move to the just chatting screen and let's just hang out for a bit. Let's bond. I know you guys would hate to be left alone here with me, but let's bond until <laughs> let's bond by two pieces of wood stuck together by some wood glue until Teeny starts their stream, okay? <laughs> and you're gonna stay around because we all wanna watch Teeny stream. Hehehe. <laughs> All right, tell me what you had for your lunch in the meantime. Wait, why didn't my scene... Why didn't my scene... Change? Hold on. <laughs> What's going on? And us, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey. What's going on? Anyhow. <laughs> I love my friends. I love VTubers. I love people. Um, just mint. I'd never. Oh, drinking Wednesday. How dare you? Also, I'm running on like a little, a little less sleep because um, may or may not have stayed up a little bit talking to Obisa VTuber. <laughs> Sorry for monopolizing your Oshi's time. I will do it again. <laughs> So, so, so sorry, chat. So sorry, chat, for stealing your Oshis. Um, I will, I will do it. Always. <laughs> so, so real. Uh, hi, Jinghei. Sorry I didn't get to greet everyone individually today. That's kind of how the collabs roll. Are you sorry, though? Hmm. Am I sorry for stealing your Oshis hearts? No. <laughs> I love your Oshis as much as you love your Oshis. <laughs> this is the sixth stream I've been here and I still get go over how pretty your model is. Oh, <gasps> Safeline, Safeline, get get over here. Get over here. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be shy here. I'll do short hair. Short hair mint for the end of stream. Yay! Thank you so much. I uh I... it makes me really happy. I mean, this is something that me and Teeny were talking about earlier as well, but the extra joy that VTubing gives me, the extra power that VTubing gives me is um, just the fact that if someone comes in, they don't necessarily even need to like who I am as a person, or they don't need to be entertained by my personality to enjoy my work, um, because my model exists as a sample of of my my art, something that I've spent something that I spent my whole life kind of loving and making so <laughs> I'm really happy that I'm able to exist to some people just as a pretty piece of pretty piece of art if they never want to check out my streams that is okay too <laughs> or if they want to come in and be like pretty model and dip that's all right as well <gasps> short hair indeed and Tenken thank you for the head pats let me give you guys back your um let me give you guys back your uh, channel point power <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> now we have the redeems I had off back on, but dun, 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 dun. thank you again for being part of my VTuber, part of my VTuber journey, part of my VTuber life. I like your model and your content. Oh, what? <laughs> what? That's really sweet. Thank you. I'll keep, I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I hope <laughs> my other goal as a VTuber is that mint my fans, <laughs> the mint my community. Uh, you guys need to be fed well. I have to keep you guys nice and fed. I need to keep you guys see yourselves here, these flower friends. 
I need to keep those cheeks nice and puffy. Need to feed you guys lots and lots and lots of good food, okay? Lots of good VTubing food. <laughs> so that way we can keep making awesome memories. <laughs> uh, it's my happiness. It's my honor. We're always eating. Good, good, good. <laughs> Me too. Oh my gosh, I had macaroni. I had macaroni today. Um, but also, I think maybe I should have eaten something else with it. Because <laughs> if all you eat is macaroni and cheese for a meal, sometimes it makes your stomach gurgly. <laughs> I think I'm overeating, but we're worth it. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle, like, spreading every limb across the keyboard to watch every VTuber at once and listening to all their streams at once. I had spicy shrimp ramen bowl. Oh, that sounds so good drinking Wednesday. Oh, you know what I have in the pantry? I have carbonara ramen. Uh, I got carbonara bulldog. <gasps> I'm gonna eat that tonight. It's Friday, okay? It's Friday. I worked really hard this week. I deserve my carbonara bulldog. <laughs> Time for the weekend, woo! Time for the weekend with friends! <laughs> I really want that carbonara bulldog with some like broccoli. I always have to fill my instant ramen with so much vegetables or else I kind of worry about my health because I'm not supposed to eat a lot of um <laughs> that kind of food. <laughs> not that I'm even the most health conscious person, but you know. I gotta be, I gotta stay healthy so I can be streaming until I'm 99. Or actually it'd be awesome if we could celebrate my 100th birthday. You guys wouldn't know that it's my 100th birthday though, because I would still be going like, Ooh, so mysterious, how old am I? I made si what? <laughs> Drinking Wednesday, you made what? Sink ramen? Sink ramen? <laughs> oh my gosh, Alex edited me into the- <laughs> Into the senshi pose. Pan, 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 pan. <laughs> bread, bread, bread. OMG, yes, they did mint yesterday. It was not this again. Sink ramen? Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking. I'm going to find it. I wish I had the the brain capacity to to look more closely at every server that I was in. I like lurking about Arisa's server though, but where um <laughs> Might I ask which channel it is, it is in, Drinking Wednesday? It dyed my sink yellow? Again, why would you ever make sink ramen? That's- that's terrifying. That's terrifying. No. <laughs> no sink ramen. My goodness. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Also, next time I see you guys, it's gonna be Sunday. It's gonna be Sunday. I'm gonna work very hard and I will see you. See you guys then. I'll see you on um for the art stream. Although I still have some time right now. I'm I just plan to hang out with you guys until Teenie's Teenie's ready for streaming and stuff. But let's see. Um Oh, Arisa was evil and made us watch cursed food. Oh, and when they made one of them. Oh, and ate all of it. I'm still concerned. I don't waste food. Um, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Is that you drinking Wednesday with your ramen? You have a magnificent beard. <laughs> Sorry, that is, that is, um, first, first impression. Dun, dun, dun. I realize that we don't have an IRL channel or something equivalent to that, but that's amazing. That's very smart. We kind of have things spread out. Spread out between between different channels. Oh my goodness. Oh my Jiggy was it? I've scrolled up. I've scrolled up to see the sink robin. Ooh. Ooh. I, I, I did scroll up. I did scroll up, and unfortunately, I see the blocks of ramen like in the sink. Oh. Oh no. I don't think I can. I don't think I can continuously. Uh. I don't know if I can continuously walk. 
watch it without losing my my ramen appetite, you know? There's no way. Give the bread. Hi, Lee. Yeah, grab your daily breads. Don't forget. Pick up a daily bread at the bakery. Come, come, hear ye, hear ye. Grab a fresh bread, won't ya? Bum, bum, they probably stop watching. <laughs> I, mean, I did close it, I did close it because I really don't know. I really don't know if I can stomach it. <laughs> but, um, was it, was it good, Drinking Wednesday? Did you get sick after eating it? Are you okay? Are you feeling sick? Do tell, pray tell. <laughs> Also, don't eat sink ramen, kid. Okay, okay. You're saying not to eat it, but like... Are you feeling okay? <laughs> it's more appetizing than... The TikTok sink food we saw yesterday with Arisa? Oh my gosh. I'm... Um, how, how do you even go about finding these videos? How do you even go about finding this kind of media? I'm not really on TikTok, honestly. <laughs> so, huh. That Wazowski sticker is one heck of a look. No, it's not. But still, ask Arisa, she did it. How how did she find this? And how did you guys find like all the other crazy foods she showed on stream? <gasps> it tasted okay, but I'm glad I dumped a bunch of garlic in the broth. I bet that saved it. I bet that the garlic single-handedly was working overtime to erase the sink smell. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys know who's live? You know who's live? It's Teeny Tanuki. <laughs> Teeny Tanuki is live. We should we should raid in. They're on their starting soon. It's very cute. Apparently it was in Arisa's for you page. What drove the algorithm to <laughs> What 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 on earth? Anyhow, I won't ask too many questions. Um, but I just want to say to everyone, I really appreciate you guys for being here today. We will raid Teeny. Be sure to follow them. They were such a lovely, lovely guest and such a beautiful and lovely friend. Um, anyone that came from Teeny's community today, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, I was an all right host. <laughs> I try my best to keep my energy at my at my best at my best for for my lovely, lovely friends. Um, Thank you guys for asking us questions. Thank you for enjoying the Toast Talks. Uh, and I'll see you guys on Sunday, okay? See you guys on Sunday at the usual time, uh, 1 p.m. PST. We're gonna do just chatting and art and have a fun time. <laughs> have a good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. I'm gonna go and probably make my dinner and then do some, do some work. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for next month. And you should be too. Alrighty, I will see you guys over in Teeny's stream. I'm gonna start the raid. Oh, can we make the raid message? I must ask you a question. Take care. Thank you for being here. Thank you all the new flower friends for just hanging out with our community. You're just, ah, everyone's so wonderful. Thank you everyone for supporting me. But yeah, let's make <laughs> peace mintiest of my chest. Ah, thanks for being here. Dun, dun, dun. Also, keep in mind that Teeny's, uh, Teeny's streams are for mature audiences only. Please be over 18. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do... I'm... Wait, how do you spell mustache? I'm mus, mus, mustache you a question. Here we go. I'm gonna go, I mustache you a question. Laugh emote. <laughs> Wait, I spelled it wrong? Oh, oh no, wait, how do- uh, Kyle, are you able to delete streamers chats? I wish I could do- oh, wait, did I spell it right or did I spell it wrong? You're scaring me! You're scaring me! I thought I got it so wrong. Okay, there has to be a mustache. There's no mustache emoji! Uh... Okay, wait, 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 here we go, here we go. There's there's a version of the raid message for people that don't have our sub emotes. But once again, uh, you're all the best. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. And let us continue to have a swell and comfy bakery time. Thanks for being here. Ah, I love streaming. I love I love streaming so much. I love doing stuff for you guys. Have fun with Teeny, okay? Teeny's gonna have another awesome stream. Oh my gosh, Lexus stream streak. Whoa, another seventy. I'm also getting a spam call. Let's ignore that. Bye-bye! <laughs>